Gaming On to find out once and for all who's best in the show. It is the final weekend of the regular season. Welcome to another edition, another primetime stream. I'm Robert Flores. This is MLB The Show 20 Players League. Top eight players advancing to the playoffs. Remember, three inning contests here, live series rosters for our new stream or for our new viewers to this stream. Think of it as Battle Royale or some of the events that you might play in MLB The Show 20, but these are live series rosters. Blake Snell of the Tampa Bay Rays is our featured streamer. But let's give you a taste of what happened on Wednesday and Thursday in the MLB The Show 20 Players League. Here we go. On Wednesday, there was uh, quite a bit of action to get to, including Jeff McNeil of the New York Mets, one of those teams, one of those players rather battling for a playoff spot. He went deep. A grand slam home run with Pete Alonzo against the Milwaukee Brewers. Jeff McNeil, 15 and six overall. And how about Juan Soto in his matchup against Amir Garrett? Juan Soto went deep as himself. And remember, Juan Soto is only 21 years old. And then the next at bat that Juan Soto was to come to the plate, Amir Garrett said, not so fast, and handed Juan Soto the free pass. And watch Soto's reaction. Wait for it. There you go. He couldn't believe it. Juan Soto is 10 and 9 in league play. He's in the playoff hunt. Amir Garrett, one game back of that final playoff spot. And really, the story of the night, however, was what happened to Lance McCullers and his burrito order. Okay. There we go. I ordered Chipotle, okay? Uh-huh. And I opened my Chipotle, and someone, whoever delivered it, ate a bite of my Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it was so clear that they had just ta- they had opened it, and they just ate a bite of the top. I called my wife upstairs, and I'm like, tell me you took a bite of my Chipotle. And she was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, just tell me stop, stop. you took a bite of Chipotle. And I was like, no. And she, she comes downstairs. And she looks at it, and she was like, "I think I'm gonna throw up." Cause I just, she just ate a bowl from Chipotle. Bro, so was now what was the what was the item in here, question? Was it, was it a burrito? Was it a bowl? What was the item in no, question? It was a burrito. You could see it. Was right? it, it was. It was a it was a Jaws bite right at the right at the end. <laughs> oh no. That, Brett, that's Brett, that's not Brett. I'm gonna send you a picture, Brett. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, it it, it unfolded. Listen to me. Listen to me. It unfolded live on my stream, bro. Because the Chipotle person, Chipotle person, knocked on the door. My dogs are going nuts. I remember my chat was like, "What do you? What? Why are the dogs barking?" My Chipotle's here. So I have my Chipotle sitting. I'm losing to Santana, three nothing going into the third inning. I come back and win. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm about to crush this Chipotle while I wait for bread. I open it, and the t- whole top of the thing has clearly been just eaten. <laughs> I just ate it. So now I had to go eat oatmeal. I had to go make oatmeal. <laughs> and that's that's Brett's pterodactyl laugh. That's Brett's laugh 2.0. That's a rare. That's a rare laugh. Wow. I didn't know the pterodactyl laugh would make an appearance on the stream, but it did as we kind of went semi-viral there with that story. Uh, Brett Phillips, uh, he's kind of in the periphery of the playoff chase, but uh, he's definitely entertaining. All right. What about on Thursday? Remember, just because we we don't have streams or we have streams on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there are games Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. This is what happened yesterday. Bo Bichette where they come from behind win against Dwight Smith Jr. at Camden Yards. And Dwight Smith giving up the homer to Vlad Guerrero. And Bo Bichette had to pimp it. He had to go L2. Part of a comeback win for Bo Bichette. Lucas Giolito with Edwin Encarnacion. Second inning facing Fernando Tatis Jr. in San Diego. Edwin Encarnacion with a grand slam and Lucas Giolito. He's definitely in the thick of our playoff chase. Back there. We all know this. All right. And what about 
Brett Phillips, the aforementioned Brett Phillips, taking on Joey Gallo. And Brett Phillips batting in the eighth position with a home run against Joey Gallo, handing Gallo just his fourth loss in league play. Despite the loss, Joey Gallo still sits at top the league standings. Remember, top eight players will advance to the postseason. And speaking of Dwight Smith Jr., he goes back to back Ooh. against Carl Edwards Jr. Ooh, in Seattle. First up, Anthony Santander with a Santander, home run. Baby. And right after that, it was Trey Mancini. We talked about it at length on this stream. Dwight Smith Jr. playing with the lineup that doesn't have any gold cards or diamonds, using that patience at, at the plate to his advantage. Here, taking advantage of a ball left up in the zone. So back-to-back -back homers for Dwight Smith Jr. He is holding on to the final playoff spot in the MLB The Show 20 Players League. Can he hold on? Well, we'll find out on Monday. That's when the regular season wraps up. And then Blake Snell in a game that was seen on ESPN2 taking on Lucas Giolito. He goes back to back <laughs> already up three to nothing yeah, in the second inning Man, there's another homer, homer for you <laughs> and g-man Choi, wow one of the sneaky good cards in the game as blake snell holds on to beat lucas giolito john duplantier he's just one game back of the final playoff spot and he got a very impressive win over gavin lux who is comfortably in the playoff as we speak but a walk-off extra innings it win for John Duplantier of the Arizona Diamondbacks. All right, so that's what went down on Wednesday and Thursday. Remember the playoffs, they will begin after our regular season wraps up on Monday. All right, so there are the standings. Just four losses for Joey Gallo, 19 and four. Blake Snell, 14 and three. And once again, Blake is our featured streamer tonight. He's on He's on the schedule for five games, so buckle up for Blake Snell. Bo Bichette, 12 and four. Gavin Lux, 16 and six. Jeff McNeil, 15 and six. Fernando Tatis Jr., 15 and seven. And then everyone below Dwight Smith Jr., those are the players that are fighting for playoffs positioning. Tommy Canely, Amir Garrett, Jesus Lazardo, who will be in action tonight in our featured stream. All right, so three innings. And as I said, Blake Snell, is our featured streamer twitch twitch.tv slash classically famous is blake's twitch channel blake it's good to have you again how are you i'm good man how you doing row flow i'm doing good man hey before we get to gameplay you celebrated an anniversary this week the uh, what yeah. the three year or four years of you being in the mm -hmm. bigs your your major league debut at yankee stadium april 23rd 2016. uh what do you recall yeah. about that moment I remember it was wild. I was playing uh, the night before I was in uh, Norfolk, which is uh, the AAA team of the Orioles, and it's a place I don't enjoy. Um, and I remember I was like, I was always thinking the whole time, like, am I going to get called up? I'm going to get called up. I kept thinking about it. And then I finally was like, man, I'm done thinking about it. Like, I'm not getting called up, like, whatever. And then, like, a week later, I get called up. And, yeah, like, it was all just such a rush, such a blur. But I remember when I got there, it was like the most like, like being a Yankee fan, there's like nothing like it. Um, yeah. The fans were all over me from the jump. Um, so that was <laughs> new because the minor leagues doesn't prepare you for that. Um, but yeah, like when I pitched, I don't really remember any of it. The only at bats I remember were the A-Rod at bats because he was like one of my idols growing up. Um, so it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah, we ended up losing on a walk-off home run to Brett Gardner. Um, but I did good and I was super excited about that and all my family and friends were there. So that was a lot of fun, but overall it was just super crazy. And I couldn't have asked for like a better debut being that it was in New York and it was like 40 yeah. some thousand fans. Well, I know people on your Twitch page, twitch.tv slash classically famous. They're always active in the chat. You're a prolific yeah. streamer and uh, we're glad to have you tonight. Uh, among the players you will be taking on is Carl Edwards Jr., of the Seattle Mariners. And it's our first chance to check in with Carl Edwards Jr. now uh, here on our featured and primetime broadcast. And Carl Edwards Jr., good enough to join us now here, along with the other opponents, Luke Jackson, Jesus oh, okay. Lazardo, Nico Goodrum, and Josh Hader. So a good 
This is a good group here. We got a good mix. Carl, let me start with you. What has been your experience like uh, thus far? How uh, that this thus far in the league? How have you enjoyed it? Oh, I've I've enjoyed. It. I just hate losing, man. Yeah. You know? uh, <laughs> still trying to figure out this um thing called hitting. Uh, well, other okay. than that, yep. you know, it's been fun. Well, we're we're glad to have you. Uh, Nico Goodrum of the Detroit Tigers, same question to you. How how have you been uh, Yo, enjoying the league this far? I I totally missed the question because I just gave up a three-round homer. Oh, uh, okay. Well, you, but, st you stay connected I, to that. You've got a lot. Uh, you've got things to focus on. Luke uh, Jackson, you uh, are a part of one of the most exciting games that we've had <laughs> in the primetime stream. You're – your uh, your win against Brett Phillips, Ronald Acuna Jr. throwing out the potential tying run at the plate. What is the excitement been like? How competitive are these games? Uh, every game, I think, uh, ends with uh, me blowing it in the last inning or winning it in the last inning. So it's kind of it's a, it's been a nail biting experience. And and Josh, uh, what what about you? What are you? Uh, how are you feeling tonight going into uh, tonight's set of games? Man, if I can if I can figure out this hitting thing as well, that's uh, that's what I need to do. So if I can yeah, continue yeah, to stay patient yeah. and work work counts, and hopefully not give up too many homers. All right, well, guys, we're going to keep tabs on all your games. Remember, go to MLB.com/slash Players League. That is one-stop shopping. It has scores, it has standings, it has uh, highlights, as well as each player's individual tw links to each player's individual Twitch page. So you just click on that open up a whole lot of tabs. You would not believe how many tabs I've got going here because I've got uh, every player's individual Twitch page as well as our primetime broadcast. I'll be keeping you up to date with scores and uh, updates throughout the night. But here we, we're getting ready for Blake Snell against Carl Edwards Jr. Blake, uh, you're, you're a Seattle area kid. Uh, have you had a yeah. chance to play? Uh, uh, how often have you had a chance to pitch in Seattle? Uh, I've only pitched in Seattle one time. And, and what was, was that? Like? Amazing. Yeah, it was amazing. It was a good game. Um Was it yeah, too it was, much I, to handle? Oh, not at all. Um the first the first like seven batters I struck out, that was cool. Um I went six innings, uh shot out, I think one or two hits. Yeah, I was on that game. It was crazy. Um it was a lot of fun and I just remember like I don't know. I was super like pumped up, like super pumped up. So. Oh, I bet. Like being able to, yeah. It's been a long time since I got a pitch in front of like my family, my all my friends. Like, I loved it. Yeah, every part of it was amazing. So, and I remember like going into it, I wasn't supposed to pitch there at all, but like I like begged and begged, and <laughs> the front office was finally for it, and they're like, okay. And then yeah, it was turned out to be great. Carl, you're you're now with the Mariners. Uh, what was your experience like with your new teammates? The brief time you guys were together before we were put on pause. Um, it was nice, man. Um, got to meet the guys. Um, really big. Um, you know, D. Gordon was him and Seager really brought me in well. Um, and then we ended up getting Cargo. So, you know, I got some chances to try to be with Cargo last year. Um, and then yeah. you know, just being around them guys in general, man, it's nice. All right, so we're getting ready to go here in St. Petersburg at the Trop for the Tampa Bay Rays and the Seattle Mariners. Blake, 14-3 and three coming into tonight. Ooh, Second best record. record overall behind Joey Gallo. Oh, here we go, Carl. I love these uniforms now. <laughs> yeah, my dog. You can't go wrong with the powder blues. Mm -mm. Willie, be great, Willie. Bro, I like the – I really like the ones they said they were on Sunday, the cream with the dark blue and the yellow. Oof. Yeah, those are nice. Oh, good speed there. Almost beat it out for a hit. What is that? Here's Mitch Hanniger. Yanni Chirinos. Blake is 12 and 1 oh. in his last 13 uh, games coming in. Throw it away. 
Willie. Juan Soto has a 3 nothing lead on Nico Goodrum after he homered as himself in the top of the first. Let's see who we got. Blake getting that pin and ready to go. Blake, I feel like you guys have like 12 dudes out of the bullpen that not a lot of people have heard of. They all throw a billion and they all have filthy stuff. Yeah, they nasty. The bullpen real. Ooh. <laughs> Bro, Here's what is up with my Seager. pitching right now? Oh, Vogie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing Vogel back. Yeah. And he walked him. That'll bring up the oh, big God. fella. Oh, my God. G-Man, what is you doing, bro? Chill. You ain't running that fast. Look at him. He was sprinting. <laughs> Willie, what's Marco Thanks for got? joining us from wherever you're joining us, particularly twitch.tv slash MLB Network and twitch.tv slash Sony San Diego Studio. I need it. Willie Adames. Oh, that's trouble. That's perfect, perfect. Willie good, man. So early trouble here. Oh, Blake, what is you doing, baby? For Marco Damn, Gonzalez. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why it's dropping frames. Let's go. We're hey Blake, we're aware of the, the frame issue, so we're we're trying to figure out and dial it in on our side. We're efforting a fix, chat. Yes. We're efforting we're, a fix. We're aware and we're we're trying we're looking. Here's Hunter Renfro. That's crazy. Oh, my God. oh boy. Again, <laughs> off the top of the wall. <laughs> G Man, the goat. What's he like in the clubhouse, Blake? G Man. He quiet. He talked, but he quiet. You know, Carl, I was uh, watching MLB Network. Uh, I think it was last week. They're replaying Game 7, 2016 World Series. I'm watching it right now. Are, are you watching it right now? Yes. <laughs> Down in the kitchen right now, yeah. I called it. I said, I wonder which game this is. And I said, I'm against it. If Fowler hits a home run to lead the game off, then I know which game it is, Game 7. And next thing I know – Next pitch, Homer. <laughs> I, I mean, what what was that like? I mean, you, you hadn't been in the game in the bigs for very long. What was it like to play in game seven? Um, it was different. I can tell you that. Um, I, I always compare it to you go to the ball field for a regular day. You get the excitement. You know, you get the jitters. But get yeah. ready for game seven. And, like, just going into that game was – it was like I don't know, dude. It was it was crazy, man. I was um, I was glad to be there. I was happy. Our team was so fun. Like we just, I don't know, we were just having fun playing the game. That's down the line. A run will score, and it's now two to nothing. Two outs. Bottom of the first. Nico Goodrum has closed to three to two after two against Juan Soto. Tommy Canley is up two to nothing on the Miami Marlins' Ryan Stanek. 
Oh, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect don't work in this game. They're 100% percent so, yeah, Most of the time it yeah. does. I'd say like eight <laughs> times out of ten. But that's baseball, though, Blake. Sometimes, right? I mean, sometimes you get one on the screws and it's right at somebody. Oh, my God. That's not good. Yeah. Bro, I thought you crushed that. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Bro, I thought I crushed it. It said good. Good. Everything was like there. It's crazy, man. I don't know. It's weird. Whatever. Yeah, this game is super frustrating. It's streaky. Now, there Carl, game yeah. seven, that's when uh, – <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Jay Hay gave the speech, right, during the rain delay? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. What 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 did he say, if you can share with us? Um. Oh, yeah. No. Dang, no pop. Um. But no, I mean it was it wasn't nothing too much. I mean we just you know basically we just told each other like, hey man, like it's our last game of the year, you know, win yeah. or lose, the last one to next year. So, um, so we just kind of took it. We took it into that. I think we took it to that mentality just to, um, you know, just to go out there and like we knew we you know we knew they had tied it up. So we knew we had we was the first people to get a chance to score, and we felt like you know we scored that in, and we had a I mean, we had a chance to win. McDale seventy six coming strong in the chat. Oh, all right, we got oh a pinch my hitter. God, Bro, I can't square a baseball up like that. No better than that. Wow. What's the P? Where was the PCI? That's what I want to know. I mean, I'm not gonna tell no story, man. A lot of a lot of balls that I've hit today. I mean, been playing this game has been like in the middle of the PCI, or maybe a little mm. off by an inch, and it's nothing. Crickets. Let's go, Batista. That's my guy, man. I met this kid, and I don't know, man. We just grew up to each other. Oh yeah, yeah? I take it. yeah that kid yeah man that was about 116. Uh, <laughs> now I'm joking, but that was hard. <laughs> that was hard, man. He's you know just a good guy. We um yeah we we talked we talked a lot. I, I always gave him jump about how hard he threw. Oh God. Ooh ooh. Carl, when did you when did you know, Carl, that uh, that you had a chance, that you were, you know, hey, I might be able to do this thing, I might be able to get to the bigs. When did you know? That's out of here. That is Homer. Um, I knew. Um, I'll just say, coming up through high school, my best friend that got drafted, and then, you know, when I went there, I started soaking in, you know, so much. Not too much, but just enough to, you know, where I was, you know, where I could, you know, I had some stuff I could work on and just been around guys, you know, that was motivating me and telling me, you know, I got a chance, like how good I was. And um, I think that really gave me, that really, that really like sped everything up for me because then I started believing more in myself. Yeah. All right. So Blake has opened up a, Four nothing lead. Three nothing. Come on, bro. Get my let me get three. Oh my bad. My bad. Three nothing. I'm, Damn. <laughs> I'm giving Blake another run. That's my fault. Dang, <laughs> man. Now I gotta be careful with pitch after we... Tommy Canley is up six to nothing on Ryan Stanick in the second. He should though. He got the Yankees. It's not even fair. Well, you, I mean, that's an interesting – that's one of the interesting things about this league is that, look, the Yankees lineup, there's gold players, there's diamond players. Uh, Blake, your lineup has gold in Austin Meadows, and I think that's the only gold player you have in the lineup. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah all what I about got. mine? Tell them about my gold players. Okay, yeah. Where, <laughs> I was going to get to yours, Carl. <laughs> 
I mean, Vogelbach has got yeah. some pop, but I think that's a bronze player. Yep. Kyle Seeger. Hey, Kyle Seeger. Yeah. Kyle Seeger. Control Kyle room Seager. Colin, is he a gold or a silver? Uh, I I know that he's a dark horse. The the, the guys okay. on the team love him because of his left hand uh, bat with some pop. Uh, yeah. So he's he's a sneaky card, is what we'd like to say. He he's, yep. He's he's one of those. Guys Dare we that you say bring he's in. a budget beast? Is that there what you you're go. trying to say? Yes. There, there we go. That's for sure. So just chiming in here for a second. We're aware of the delay. We're gonna fix it for game two. So we're. Oh, Malik's man. What? Malik's enough with the button, Malik's. <laughs> <laughs> I get on Malik's all the time. Hey, Game MLB, what's up, man? Man, you've been talking to AG. <laughs> hey, dog. Listen, bro, we got to go some kind of way. You feel me? I hear Noah you. B for three. Seeger and Haniger are, are, are silvers for Seattle. So thanks for setting us straight. And as I said, Seeger right, is right. a silver. I green that too. What kind? And I threw that down the middle. Double barrel action in the bullpen for Blake Snell. Oh my God, bro! That ball stay up that long? Yeah, it was like a frisbee. Juan Soto wins three to two. Nico Goodrum tried to tag on a. On a fly ball and got thrown out oh, at home to no, end the game. So Juan Soto improves to eleven and nine. Oh, <laughs> How you square oh, that up, right? To <laughs> <laughs> you had like four hey, of them, bro, uh, right at people. Warboy ninety nine. Uh, there are diamond pitchers for Tampa Bay. There's the Charlie Morton Live Series cars. That is a diamond, but I was talking about the lineup. Austin Meadows, the only gold player in Blake Snell's lineup. Not talking about his pitching staff. Oh, nice play. Somebody just asked me on my Twitch. Game seven, seven when you late. Did you have time to eat in the clubhouse? Um, Let's see. Let me pull up your – Yeah. Carl's uh, Twitch page, twitch.tv slash CJ Edwards 7. Hey, man, that Cal Hendricks, though, bro. Cal Hendricks was nasty in game seven. Yeah, that dude was spot up. Bro, it's crazy, though. He spot up great. All that's right, like so guy. that's it. That will do it. Blake goes on to another win. He's now won 13 of his last 14 games. Blake, I remember hey. night one you were with us of the MLB The Show 20 Players League. It was a little up and down, but since then you've been rolling. What's been working for you? Uh, yeah, just getting used to veteran hitting. Um, it was tough at first, but, yeah, man, now, now that this is all I'm playing is veteran hitting, uh, yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable playing, but still, I mean, it's tough. These guys are good. Hey, Carl, uh, I, I, I mentioned your Twitch page. Uh, what, what kind of love, what kind of support you've been getting from Mariner fans throughout the league? Oh, I mean, I've been getting, you know, they, they've been here and there. I'm still getting a lot of, you know, Cubby stuff as usual. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I mean, yeah, Seattle, they've been following me. Um, I, I mean, they follow me every time I turn it on. Um, I got one guy that I, you know, that I talked to on the game now that I, um, I guess he reached out and I just reached back out. It's really good at Call of Duty. Hey, uh, let me ask you a baseball question here, Carl. Uh, obviously, you come from Chicago, go to uh, Seattle to become a member of the Mariners. Um, what was it like to play for Joe Madden? What kind of things did you learn from him? Um, first of all, I learned from Joe is, um, you know, have fun playing the game. Basically, just have fun. Just go out there and be you. Um, and just playing in Chicago, man. I mean, there's, I'm, I'm beyond there's like no other place, dude, in Chicago. Um, especially with the group of guys I was with when, when I was there. 
um, they, you know, they, they really was, I don't know, man, it was like the perfect veterans to me. Um, yeah. You had Hayward, Fowler, Ross, um, Lester, Lackey, Arietta, like those guys to me was horses as, the, you know, like as I was pitching staff and then the position player, dude, that was crazy. I mean, he had Addy, heck, he had Javi, Rizzo, like Brian won MVP that you're like, bro, I don't know, it was just, it's like we came up at the right time and we had the right manager. Yeah. Hey, hey, Blake, uh, what were, who were some of the veterans that you, took you under your wing? You mentioned your, your major league debut at Yankee Stadium in April of 2016. Who were some of the veterans that uh, helped you out when you first got to the bigs? Yeah, um, I mean, it was a lot. It was like a, a lot of people helped me in different ways. But from the pitching side, it would definitely be uh, Chris Archer was definitely probably the most important. Um, but they're all super important. Arch helped me a lot. Valdi, Cobb, Matt Moore. Um, the whole staff, though, Drew Smiley. Um, they were all just such good dudes that really helped me, like, beyond belief. Um, yeah, but, I mean, the, the the starting pitching staff with the Rays has always been super tight-knit, super close. So I always uh, was kind of just learning from them as I went. And, uh yeah, they all helped me tremendously, and then as, as well as like coaches and all that. But from a player standpoint, I'd say the starting staff in general, uh, since I've been with the Rays, has always been like top notch in my eyes. Hey, uh, Carl, uh, last one before we let you go. Uh, what what is going to be your biggest takeaway from from this experience of uh, of the Players League? What's going to be some of the things that you uh, you come away with? Oh, um, most definitely. I probably need to play the show more than what I've been playing it. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but now, for real though, um, I mean, just, you know, I'm going to take a lot from it, but, you know, it helped me out on my game. Um, and then, you know, when everything is moving, hopefully during the season or something, I can run against a couple of these guys from my Diamond Dynasty. There you go. There you go. Hey, well, uh, Carl, it was great to visit with you, man. Uh, we look forward to seeing you and – and the rest of the Seattle Mariners and really the rest of Major League Baseball get back on the diamond real soon. Uh, I'll let you get back to the rest of your night schedule. Blake, you're our featured streamer. You hang tight. Uh, control room, mm -hmm. Colin, I think we're going to yes, bring sir. in our, our, our special guest, correct? Yeah, so actually a uh, couple house cleaning things we're going to bring in a guest. Blake, I sent you a message with a new server to stream to. If you could uh, stop your stream and then put it in that new key. And then uh, I'll pull that in just so we can uh, try to be in sync. Make sure all of the people watching uh, can see a great stream. So we'll just take a second. Blake, we'll be back with you in one minute. Uh, all, all right. right. So Carl and, Edward Jr. and Blake Snell are joining us now. We're getting some other difficulties here. I think that's wow. coming from our guest streamer. Hold on. <laughs> Hold up. Hey, uh, guys, a couple of prog other programming notes while Colin gets uh, the, the technical stuff straightened, straightened out. Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern on MLB Network, okay? Not the Twitch page. I'm talking about real MLB Network. Wherever you watch MLB Network, to, right, this Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern, we're going to have our recap of the Players League, okay? And then 8 o'clock Eastern – we're bringing a special double header, actual regular season games from MLB The Show 20 Players League. So two hours of MLB The Show 20 Players League coverage on MLB Network that comes your way on Sunday, <laughs> 7 o'clock Eastern uh, on, on MLB Network. You want to run through these highlights no, again? We can run through them again. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? We're, okay. We're maybe. trying. Sorry. Hold on. I no, think we got okay. Let's see if we got Steven. Steven, can okay. you hear us now? No, we can't hear Steven. <laughs> We're, it's, everyone's like watching. Everyone relax. Everyone's Nobody watching panic, TV and right? stuff online and stuff right now. So, uh, yes. Steven, just, Max your headphones. What's up? just go straight to the phone. Okay. So we need to wait on. Let's see. Steven, we still can't hear Steven. We can't hear you, Steven. At least he's not making that noise. Um, just, we'll come back to you in a minute, Steven. Okay. Uh, we'll get the, let's get Blake situated. Robert, we're going to go to you for a couple minutes here. 
Uh, tell okay. us about what's coming up, and then uh, we'll get ready for game two. Okay. As I've said, uh, 7 o'clock Eastern on Sunday on MLB Network, we'll have our uh, recap, and then we will have doubleheader action. That's going to be on MLB Network. And remember, the – uh, the playoffs will begin. Our regular season is going to wrap up on Monday evening, and then that's when the playoffs begin. So you've got – plus you have MLB the, to- MLB the Show 20 Players League action continuing tomorrow, 3 o'clock Eastern on ESPN2. That's Brett Phillips taking on Jeff McNeil, and then the second game of our doubleheader on ESPN2 tomorrow will be Lucas Giolito – and Hunter Pence. And then on Sunday, of course, our MLB Network coverage comes your way. And then Wednesday, April 29th, you got a doubleheader starting at 10 p.m. Eastern on ESPN2, followed by quarterfinal action Friday, May 1st, 10 o'clock Eastern on FS1. Basically what I'm telling you, chat, is that this league is dominating every platform, okay? We're here on Twitch, we're on Facebook, We're on YouTube, we're on Linear TV, we're on FS1, we're on ESPN2, we're on MLB Network. So if you can't find us, if you don't know what's going on, that's a you problem. MLB.com slash Players League for all your needs as far as the standings go. And right now, Dwight Smith Jr., beginning tonight, had a one-game lead. He was holding on to that final playoff spot and had a one-game lead over three players, including Amir Garrett. Okay. Colin, that's about the only, that's about as hey much man, tap dancing. That's as all do. I needed. That's all I needed. We're yes. going to go straight to Blake and Jesus. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's bring in uh, Blake and Jesus Lazardo of the uh, Oakland A's. And Jesus, I'm pulling up your, I'm pulling up the standings right now. And you're kind of in the hunt, my man. You're kind of in, in the mix, right? How do you feel about uh, your chances of getting into the playoffs? Uh, I mean, after that win against Garrett, you know, I think we're looking somewhat okay. Uh, we got a, you know, good game here. Tough game against Snell and then Canley coming up next. So, I uh, got a rough couple games coming up, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, so, you beat Amir Garrett tonight. Is that right? Yeah, I just finished that game. What was that score? What was that score? Uh, oh. Six nothing. Oh, you know, you know he's hot. You know Amir Garrett is so hot right oh. now. Oh. Did he try to bunt? Dang. He did not try to bunt, no. That's why he – okay, that's why he took that. Oh. <laughs> is he a big uh, part of guys? Like yeah, he, li- he likes yeah. to play small ball, hey, dudes. Likes to play a little small ball. I respect that. I had Are we ready to um, I did that against Giolito yesterday. Yeah, let's get into the game, guys. Sean Manaya will be starting against Charlie Morton. Now, uh, someone in the chat had mentioned, well, Blake has diamonds, and and they didn't quite understand what I was saying. The pitching staff, there's diamonds. Charlie Morton, one of them. So, you know Uncle Charlie, very filthy. Uh, Jesus began tonight a game back of Dwight Smith Jr. for that final playoff spot. Uh, Tied with Amir Garrett, who, as you just heard, he just beat, and Tommy Kingley, who was beating Ryan Stanek. Let me see if I can get a a score on that. Uh, Okay, yeah. Uh, Tommy Canely uh, up 11 to nothing on Ryan Stanek in the third. Uh, Bo Bichette is up 3 to nothing on Juan Soto in the third. And uh, Luke Jackson wins 4 to nothing over David Dahl. And Jesus, your uniform choice may be the best choice of the league thus far this is outstanding yeah no I, I think we need to bring these back at some point i think you're right my man and that's out number one all right here's austin meadows blake's now showing bunt blake has, has shown us the bunt yammer the fake bunt yammer this uh this league during league play Oh, 
Sean Manaya. I was just playing Sean Manaya in some uh, conquest action, and that is a frustrating card to hit off of. Although Blake, oh, I thought you got it. He can. He he starts to mix and match it pretty well, and it gets tough. He does. He lives on that outside, outside, and then he'll come at you. They'll throw that 89 mile per hour fastball underneath the hands, and it looks like it's 95. Here's Hunter Renfro. Good pitch. Oh, good. To find Jesus on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Zeus L44. Oh, my missing oh, my my The jump. I want to see if Morton's as nasty in this game as he is in real life. He nasty, he nasty, just not on veteran, bro. No pitcher is nasty on veteran. <laughs> Zero, like none. <laughs> I absolutely do not like pitching on veteran or all star. Pitching on all star, hitting on veteran. Yeah. Ace Cannon uh, in the chat says Bo Bichette beat Juan Soto five to nothing. If, if you're looking at favorites to win this league, I think there's three guys. Blake is one of them. Bro, you, bro, you missed Lucas that. Lucas Giolito. <laughs> I hit that perfect. And I then Bo Bichette. <laughs> or go, hey, Zeus, like, just what? went deep <laughs> off Charlie Morton. Wow. Yeah, I threw that down the middle. No, that's the not on bad Charlie. Guy. That's on me, not throwing a strike. Ramon Laureano. The laser. The, oh my God, ref, ref! Can you just call it, bro? That's that's what we call a dart. <laughs> Thank you. about He's time. About time, ref. Right Jeez, there. Louise. Okay. I need it so bad. I need it. <laughs> it's punchy season. Here's Matt Olson. Oh, yeah, this guy hits absolute. Tanks. Here, Lord. Let me pull. Let me see if I can pull up some numbers. Uh, you know what you how you've done against Olson? Probably not. Hey, refs, come on, ref. The bat hit is back, bro. Uh, uh Matt uh, Olson, uh, Blake is 0 for two with a strikeout against you. Snow, how do you how do you pitch next to AB's Olson? a bomb. Stay away from him. Uh, I can't Stay say away. that. And then. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm We got the scouting report on you now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Matt Chapman looming on deck. Already one run in, a leadoff homer from Ramon Laureano. Here's the payoff pitch, the 3-2. Oh, God. Are you going to get me? Uh, um. Brad, Blakes uses the term ref he, when, you know, the, the, when the umpire doesn't give him a good call. That's what he, he knows that they're umps. Come on. How are you not swinging? Good. Riddle me that. Good, AB. good patience I've by Jesus Lizardo. Okay, you're not hitting that, so that's what veteran hitting is, guys. That's not happening in real life. <laughs> Ooh. I'm telling you, man, this whole, like, veteran hitting, I hate it. Oh, turn it. Turn it. Flip it for one. Fire <laughs> it for two. You... Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, hey, Zeus, with Loriano, Semyon, Blake Chapman, I mean, you have like three elite stream defenders behind you guys. What's it like to have those guys behind you? I mean, in the short period of time that I had those I guys behind me, it was amazing. Just because 
I mean, being able to, especially in the Coliseum, having like guys like Lariano out in the outfield that you can kind of just throw it, let them hit it, and they'll, they'll chase it down. So, uh, and especially, you know, having Chappie yeah. on the corners always helps. Is he getting tired? Cody Connors in the MLB Network chat. What is up? He's definitely getting All tired. Right. Oh, my God. What's going on here, Manaya? No, 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 no. Who wanted that? Want now 3 and 0. Mike Zanino. No, no. The freaking, look at his eyes. Look at that's the vision. A good, that's, a good, that's a good at bat. And here comes Yandy Diaz. Remember Yandy Diaz with that, that big, oh, big game of the wild card right? game at Oakland's Coliseum. Darge oh, Nemesis. That Roll that. Game. Roll that. Be- Roll that. that should not be rolled, but it is. Is it enough? Yeah, definitely should Boom. not be. They got one, but not two. Oh, I'll give it to him. Yandy flies. DK Rex 75, what's up in the Sony San Diego studio chat? Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Get heavy, oh, ball. Get heavy. Oh, what And that's going to fall in? right in front of Chris Davis. So it's Get first and second. Naughty. <laughs> oh, no. come on. Come on, Becky. Ooh. He was swinging for it. Oh, what Stop a piece it. of hitting right there, b Oh, got the Just perfect, real, perfect. Real, real play at the plate. Him. Throw. Oh, no, no play at the plate. Ooh, what? Okay, not going to test Chris Davis out and left. Pinch hit time. Yeah, he's a big. You're going to stay with Chuck? Oh, I need to go diesel, bad. Oh, Blake. I no, forgot I, I had two outs, so too. I thought I had one. I give, you, I give you utmost respect for staying with Charlie right there. Oh, facts, bro. I didn't even get the bullpen started yet. So, that, yeah, that would have been a dumb move. J18, oh the, my, my favorite game thus far of uh, MLB The Show 20 Players League has been the game earlier in the week, Brett Phillips and Luke Jackson. I stated in the open, uh, or when our visit with Luke Jackson, Ronald Acuna oh. Jr. cut down the tying run uh, at the plate, and Jackson held on to win. That's been my favorite game. Come on. You can't, you can't freaking green it down the middle. How do you green it down the middle? Here's the speedy Robbie Grossman. Right down the middle, right down again. The middle, again. Are, you, are you are you going you kidding me? You got to get oh, your you, you need to go back. Are you on pulse or meter pitching? What are you doing, Blake? Meter, but it should not be like if I'm greening it, it should not be missing my spot. It should literally be like Yeah. But you're also welcome, look welcome at your to the club. But I've look at your energy. Attorney, I gave up like seven cookies. Bro, it's terrible. Why? Why aren't you swinging at that, huh, Chris Davis? But Blake, your your energy for your your stamina for Charlie Morton is low. Maybe that's part of it. No, Charlie Morton has 150 energy in the game. <laughs> He's an absolute <laughs> animal. I, I, I don't think that that's the case. <laughs> Here's Tony that Kemp. That's a good pitch. Zanino hey, Zeus, play. we've Come talked on, about this. Your your man Tony Kemp is getting shortchanged on his speed here in this game. Bro. Bro. Every, <laughs> every time he gets a knock, I say it. He has 39 speed. This man flies. Look at that pain. All right, we need, fit, we need, we need to it. talk to the powers that be. Look at that paint. Oh, ref. Ref. I think you need to find a new job, buddy. <laughs> Blake, someone in the chat says one time you're going to forget and call the ump ref one time in a real game. Oh, no chance. No chance. <laughs> oh. Oh, look at that. Ooh, yeah, I'm trying to pull the deep. hands in. Pull the hands oh, in one yeah. time. Oh, look at that. You're not hitting that. You're cheating fastball up. You're not hitting that. Veteran, get out of here. 
Oh Lord. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, real freaky naughty. That's platinum, so that better be caught. Kevin Kiermeyer. Okay. Right. Here we go. <laughs> We're on to the third. Oh god. Adamus, Meadows, and Renfro. One, two, and three do up for Blake Snell. Meadows is the or uh yeah, Meadows is the guy that goes deep, if you're wondering. So don't throw him a cookie. That guy goes deep. He goes deep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Oh, hold up. Curve, slide, change, fastball. Ooh. I don't even know what I'm swinging at. I'm not going to lie. I just pressed X. Joaquin Soria no. on for oh, the stage. Uh oh. oh. That needs Is to that going to oh drop? My God, and it Willie. Will. Willie. Willie. I can't believe Hey, if TK has wow. a little bit more speed, how we should we get that ball? 39, baby. Mm. Oh, Ooh, God, I need it. That's a good point, Jesus. The, the, the camp speed or lack thereof, a factor. Stop. Look at that. Not that's that. a good pitch. That's a There's good no pitch. Way, man. He's a little animal. back foot slider. Here's the 0-2. Oh, swinging at that. Nope. Stop. Oh, my God. I oh, 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 oh. Just is foul. Veteran wow. hitting. Is veteran hitting, bro? I didn't swing at it. I'll let you. There you go. I love where your head's at, Jesus. Up in the zone after that slider oh down and God. in. Oh, goodness. I was on that. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going through my notes here, guys. Here we go. He's like, man, he was swinging at all this crap. Now he's not. Look at that. Hey, Matt is just a little little animal. He's just so crazy. Loves dolphins. All right. So first and second. All right. All right. No one out. Hunter Renfro. God, oh, where are you going? Little filth. A little, little God, backwards pitching there. Stop. I need it so bad. Oh, I and that's need it. Through. And oh we God. are. Wow. Uh-oh, G-Man. Uh, we are tied. G-Man. G-Man Choi now with the go-ahead run in scoring position. We got, oh, Hendricks is nice. Liam Hendricks. Hello. Liam, what's up, bro? Oh, I was Choi, Liam oh Hendricks. my God. Ooh, that's a good pitch. Liam, relax, bro. You're throwing cheese. Oh, my. Oh. Did, did I? Did I? No. I don't know. That's deep. That's real deep. Oh. Gee, man, get your butt in the weight room. <laughs> but the runner does tag and goes to third. That go-ahead oh. run. 90 feet away. One out. Here's Mike Zanino. Oh, I like that pitch. I like it so much. No, 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 no. Calm down says in the chat says it's punchy season. It's punchy hey, season. How you doing, buddy? Go take the pine. Uh oh. And now Yandy, two out. That's what. Do I want? Yeah, I trust in Yandy. Nope. He's shaking over there. He's shaking. Pressing X, shaking. That was – oh, I freaking missed it. No way. Just missed it. That's a big out. Me. You got that good got okay. Me. You got that good okay. Bro, that's that's brutal. Wally that Dog is, 11 hurt. asking, are these guys major league players? Wally Dog 11, no. are you new here? Are you just new to the stream? Do Dude. You know this is the minor league network. Come on. Let's go. It's Jesus Lazardo of the Oakland A's, Blake Snell, Tampa Bay Rays, former Cy Young winner. Nah, I play Top for the three. Bulls. Good gracious. 
Yeah, what are you doing? What are you I don't doing? know. I don't know. The chat is just, uh, I, I mean, good Lord. Maybe I've been on the been on the stream too long, but good gracious! Help! Your All right, here comes Nick Anderson. Absolutely. Uh, Chad Pender. That's filthy. Nick Anderson. That's that's firm. That's a firm ninety-four. Boom. Sun Devils 1989, the A's uniforms are fire. Yes, they are. Jesus did an excellent job with his uniform selection. Bro, Blake coming strong too with be, the Devil Rays, too. If I'm going to be greening stuff, I need to be rewarded for it, okay? <laughs> Come on. No? Oh, no shot. The good old, good okay. Carl Edwards Jr., 5 nothing on David Dahl in the top of the third. Luke Jackson beat John Duplantier, 2 nothing. Bro, like if I'm a green it, can I get a strike, please? Come on, Becky. Okay, again, this is just absolutely not, you know, it's just very frustrating. Keep your composure, Blake. Don't freak out. All right, 2-2, two, two. Nick oh, Anderson, oh. Austin oh. Allen. Oh, oh. That was the one. MJT702, what's up? Get through. Oh, G-Man. Does G-Man have a gold building badge or is that a bronze? Oh, I think it's a diamond. All right, here's the bad guy. Razor Ramon Laureano. How are you not swinging at that? That's absolutely just, hi, how are you doing? Tommy Canely beat Ryan Stanek 11-1. Thanks to the chat for that yeah, score. You got it on the hands there. You got it on the hands. All right, no better and time we to be great. Come on, Ray fans. Come on, Ray fans. I need it to lay. <laughs> oh. Get the arms going. Oh, God. Dykeman? Chief 8771, what is up? Who we got? Left, left. Okay. You got fastball, slider, sinker. We're going to say up and in for a homer. Oh, my. You're this... right. Hey, man. Come on, bro. What are you doing? <laughs> this hey, Jake Dykeman card, it is nasty. real sneaky. Look at – look at he steps towards the first base dugout. Stop. Oh, perfect, perfect. It's just real, oh. real frisky. TK Second consecutive around. inning, Blake Snell has had the leadoff runner on. Oh, God. Oh, that got to go. That got to go. That's in the middle of that zone. Mm, slider. That didn't even go. Are you kidding me? It's off the top of the kidding? wall. Rounding third. How is that ball not gone? And that is a triple. And Blake Snell has a, has a two to one lead. Hold on. He's got seven hits. Jesus is one hit, a solo homer from Ramon Laureano. I got seven. The lead off Jack, and then that was it. Yep, that's your only hit. Hey, 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 right. that's cheese. That's cheese, too. Mm. All right. Oh, good lord, that nearly took Jake Deakman's head off. Got Insurance run soon. for Blake Snell, three to one. Willie, come on, Willie. Irish 0625, any chance we see Matty V? I mean, you can hear him. I mean, he's in the game, but see him? I, I don't know. Colin, is Matty no. V joining the broadcast? Perfect. Oh, boy. Uh, That's a perfect, perfect. Know. Let's, uh, oh, oh, let's, uh, I'll, let's see yeah. what we can do. Yeah, you got his number. Give him a call. Yeah. 
We'll, we'll see oh, that's off the top run. of the wall, and Blake Snell is now pouring it on. Yeah. Meadows, what are you doing, dude? What are oh. you doing? Man. Jones. I love your sweatpant game, Blake. Appreciate it. Hold up. Joan, on your bed. Joan, come on. You're ruining the tempo I got going. <laughs> Lay down there, Joan. <laughs> come on, dude. Appreciate you. Come on, Junior. Oh my God, stop swinging at the down. Just stop doing it, Blake. Yes, David, David Nolan and Luke so Jackson are tied or scoreless in the fourth. So extra innings at Coors. I keep, I don't know why I keep putting the PCI down right when I'm squared up with it. Ah. My bad for that fan. G, man. Come on, G. Nope. Hey, G, man, got good vision in this game. Miss it? Don't throw it to uh -oh. first. Could be true. Uh -oh. Trip. Needed that. Needed that earlier in this inning. God, okay. I needed Willie's perfect, perfect to actually be perfect. So not a crazy mountain to climb, but Jesus Lazardo down two runs, three to one, and it's going to be Diego Castillo. Go, Diego, Basketball go. Sliders. Look. Hey, go, Diego, go. <laughs> um, I don't like these. John Duplantier and Juan yeah. Soto are scoreless in the second. Bo Bichette is trailing Amir Garrett four to one in the top of the second. So this is that this is nearly must win territory for Amir Garrett to get into the playoffs. How are we missing that? I'm trying to ask you that too. Oh, Diego, knock it off. Hit him. Lean into it. Ooh, I thought that – jeez. Jesus, Marcus has got to lean into that one. Need, need him to put on an elbow guard. <laughs> I th and the chat is reporting that Amir Garrett just beat Bo Bichette. That is huge. Amir beat Bo Bichette 4-1. So a huge win. Remember, Jesus beat Amir – before he played Blake, and now Amir coming back with a win. Man, play, if play. I get a good good, I need, a, I, need, I need at least a knock. A good good's a knock. All right, here's the always intense Matt Chapman. You ain't kidding. Oh, we got the shift on. Come on, please, mm, please. Ban the ship. I need oh, it. I need it for me. Wow. Solid, solid oh. combat. Jeez. Hey, hey, Zeus, uh, you know, offensively, it was that, that leadoff homer from Ramon Laureano, but then it was a little bit of a challenge. What uh, what was going on there? Uh, Charlie Morton was Charlie Morton, so <laughs> that, that's basically what happened. Uh, now, as brutal. I said – you uh you were you're definitely in the in the thick of the playoff race you're in that in that hunt for tra uh chasing Dwight Smith Jr for that last playoff spot what's your mindset going forward for the rest of the night uh definitely need to get two wins i got to beat the yankees and beat the marlins and then we'll see where we're at okay all right so yankees marlins and speaking of the marlins you 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 grew up uh in in south florida you are a uh uh, definitely a uh, grew up a Marlins fan, right? Yeah, I'm a Marlins fan, so uh, it'll be it'll be a fun game. All right. Do you like and the Blake? Rays at all or what? <laughs> <laughs> when I grew up. I love? grew up in South Florida, so I, I never really paid attention to the Rays. It was all it was all Miami. Are you in Miami uh, right now? Uh, yeah. Like where Brown are you living County. right now? Are you in Miami? Okay. Yeah, Brown County. 
Uh, Blake, I, th- I thought with that leadoff homer for uh, Jesus, he might yeah, have I your number, but be it. but you had that you had that rally a- again, man. You're you're the hottest player in the league right now. I don't know about all that, but we got Gallo at nineteen and four. That's hot. He's up there. No, I know, but Gallo has lost a couple games. You've won fourteen of fifteen, I believe. That's crazy. <laughs> Getting lucky, man. Hey, and uh, I'm I'm monitoring your chat. Your your Rays fans, they are. I mean, no, I'm oh, sorry. God. Look, look, they are rooting you on big time. A lot of Rays fans, obviously, in the chat. You you love interacting yeah. with your fans on the, on the stream, don't you? Yeah, that's my family. We uh we always have fun. Every, like we almost on every night too. So it's hey, it's fun as heck. I love it. Twitch.tv slash classically famous. Hey Zeus, so what has been the um, what's been your experience with interacting with uh, with fans in your stream and in the chat? It's been a lot of fun. I mean, a lot of open support, and uh, you know they're interacting with us, uh, having fun, cheering us on, whatever it is. So messing with us. So uh, I think it's a lot of fun, and I think it's good for us and for them. Yeah. Well, good. All right, Jesus, you mentioned they got the Yankees and then the Marlins, and you're looking to get two wins, really stay uh, in the thick of the playoff chase and, and maybe track down Dwight Smith Jr. So uh, good luck to you, and uh, we'll, we'll circle back with you a little bit later, okay? Sounds good. Thank you, guys. Blake, good luck. You got it. All right, hey, Jesus hey, Lizardo of the Oakland A's, Blake Snell, our featured streamer. Blake, you've got quite a – I mean, this is what game three of five. You've got a yeah. you've got a beefy schedule tonight, right? It's a, it's a long one, but that's why I got my dog here. So we got we got all the rest we need. June, give me a hug, bro. June, look, yeah, the June. What's your dog's name? The Ch- Junior. He was named after Ken Griffey Junior. Ah. Like, all okay. right, we got our guest online right now. So hey. We got it. We got it here. Steve from Live it's Content Group, uh, Tony San Diego and MLB The Show 20. Uh, how are you, man? How's everything going? It's been good. Yeah, I'm at my home. Sony San Diego studio right now, but uh, it's good to see you guys are doing well, too. It's awesome to be a part of the Players League tonight with Blake and Lizardo and all the others. So but, uh, as I mentioned, yeah. you're, you're, with the, you're with the Live Content Group. Tell us exactly what that is. Sure. So live content with MLB The Show, it's always something fresh, like a menu at a restaurant, right? Whenever you come back, you can play single player, kind of lean back a little. Tonight, everyone's leaning forward in those crunchy, uh, sweaty multiplayer games. Uh, so, you know, things are always coming out. Even in a season like this where there's no real baseball games happening, we're kind of leaning a lot more on history with 100 years worth of legends. Ken Griffey Jr., David Ortiz, Mariano Rivera, guys like that are in the game where you can build a fantasy squad where we're always rolling out new moments, missions, these great ranked seasons. I think Blake's getting what you said, championship series, Blake, you got up to? Yeah, I got to get the World Series, though. I have to. World Series. And what do you get at World Series? You get some sweet rewards, right? Yeah. Is Britain in that one? I don't know who's in the rewards right now. And in a few, in like about a week, we're going to have new guys coming in, new rewards, maybe a future star, maybe a legend. We'll see what happens there. So lots of history. We're leaning towards the future as well. And this is a sample of a calendar. You see a schedule in the game. Uh, This isn't like for the next few months. This is just what's happening today and next week. Future stars yeah. with Team Affinity drop today. So every fan base has something to play. Third inning program, new legends, three of them coming out, three new bosses, excuse me, and they'll be a lot of fun. So uh, that's kind of what, what goes into live content, living, breathing, always something new to play. So even in a year where there's no baseball season happening, there's always something to entertain and uh, challenge you for rewards. You know, I'm nearing that cho- that uh, that second inning boss choice, and right. I did not have great success with last year's Bob Feller card. I wasn't really a fan of it. I uh, I, I just didn't have great success with it. Um, do you have a choice? What, what, you know, if you had a choice between one of the three, which one do you like the most? Which one kind of suits or or suits your eyes, so to speak? Oh, I was begging to see that Hanley Ramirez Dodgers flashback again. And so I'm so happy uh, our guys put that in this year. So, yeah, big team, making it work, making it happen, keeping everyone busy. All right, guys, uh, we got a cut and we're going to go over to Nico um, and let him and Blake play. 
All right, Good Steve luck, from Live Content. We appreciate you joining us, man. Thanks a lot. Take care. All right, so All right. Uh, back here. Blake, with... can you get uh, send the invite for Nico, and then let's get that game going. Oh, uh, am I the – I thought I was the away team. Oh, hold on. Let's, let's uh, We'll get uh, – I will Nico. find yeah, out. Away I've got it right. Yep. Oh, no, you're home. Nope, I'm sorry. I'm Against home? Nico, you are the, you're the road team. You are the road team. Yeah. Carl Edwards Jr. is up one to nothing on Ryan Stanek, bottom second. Juan Soto and John Duplantier scoreless in the second. And Amir Garrett off that big win against Bo Bichette, leading David Dahl, one nothing, bottom of the first. Here we're getting ready to see Nico Goodrum and the Detroit Tigers take on Blake Snell. And the Tampa Bay Rays. Nico was uh, six and thirteen coming into tonight. He, let's see, he played Juan Soto earlier. Let's see. Uh, we're uh, yeah. So we're, we're having to... some scheduling stuff and. Uh... Uh, so we're trying to get Blake set with his next game. Um, okay. So I'll let you two talk so much yourselves for a second. Uh, oh. We're okay. totally live tonight, guys. So <laughs> we got a lot hey. of moving parts. Uh, <laughs> so we uh, we got some holes in the schedule tonight. So we're okay. uh, we're trying to get all we'll the make pieces it work. To, we're trying to get all the pieces together. All right, we'll make it work. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, Blake, I feel like you you have been really using this time uh, where we are on pause and waiting for baseball to return. Um, you're doing things on Instagram. You're you're interviewing athletes athletes outside of baseball on Instagram, and of course your your yeah. streams. Uh, why is it important for you during this time to uh, kind of uh, spread your wings a little bit? Yeah, um, I felt like it was. A, this is like a huge time to not just be like, because we have to be bottled up in the house. We have to. We can't really do anything. The only thing we can really do and execute is well, one working out. It's like some I could do at home, but outside of that, it's all social media. So everything yeah. I'm doing is on social media. It's Instagram, Twitter, streaming. It's all of that. So all right, that's just kind of what I've been trying to take advantage of. So we got Luke. Well, you're certainly in... doing that right now luke hey how you doing how you doing how you doing good uh so just to double check luke you're you're on hold right now you're not playing anyone right yeah yeah, yeah. i right. just i just Blake, lost That's luke, crazy okay, let's get going let's do it uh am i the home team or yeah you're home you're home Blake. uh that's atlanta luke, right luke you just lost who did you lose to I lost to Josh Hader in an absolute fiasco. Tell us the about it. The commentator said the ball dropped in right field, so my uh -huh. guys kept running. But if I guess he caught it, and then it was a triple play. I lost three zero. What? Should have had like two runs. Yeah, dude, it was. It was a nightmare. I'm throwing a controller. I'm my whole chat, it. my Do whole chat care. is going bonkers right now. About Dude, you've got to just yeah, as Blake said, you uh, how is your controller still intact? I got listen, I, I was in shock. I didn't even do anything because I I was sending my guys home the whole time. I'm like, "Oh, beautiful. Yeah. We're going to have two run in, man on third, one out." And then all of a sudden it was game oh, over. Oh my god. Oh, what happened, dude? I think I missed that. Something happened. I hit the Not sent you another one. I got you. I got you. I got you. Oh my god. Yeah, I goodness. watch you play. You're you're going to crush me, dude. You're way better than me. I don't know, man. I'm not that good. I'm telling you. Dude. No, don't let him sandbag you. He, he's pretty good. I know. He's sandbag? Good, Come on, bro. Flow? <laughs> I'm doing, oh, I'm doing what Judge does to me. What? What? So Aaron Judge owns you? Is that is that the deal? No, I just don't like facing him, and he knows it. And then I tell oh. him that, and then, yeah, and then he's still like – Oh, no. What what is it? What's I mean? What's the toughest thing about facing him? Is I mean, is it his physical? He's so big. He like big. eighteen yeah. feet tall, <laughs> and like every time he touches the baseball, he's over a hundred miles an hour. 
Um, yeah. It's just oh, Luke, fun. you you uh, you've been on the receiving end of uh, Aaron Judge. Yeah, yeah. I gave him. I think I threw a slider in the editor batter's box, and he hit it for a double off the wall. Mm. I don't even know how. But he pulled it. Yeah. And he probably didn't even swing. He probably swung with one hand. It was like 110 yeah, off the bat. Yeah, he, he, he like got fooled and then was talking to me after. He's like, hey, good pitch, man. I said, that was not a good pitch. You <laughs> hit it off the wall. <laughs> Shut up. That's what I would have said. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah which is worse. He's, not, he's nice too time. nice and he's too big and he's too strong. Which, yeah, which is not, worse, Luke? You throw one down the middle or you throw like a, a pitch that he really shouldn't get a hold of and he, you know, kind of barrels it up and it up the wall. down the middle, I can't – like I get mad at myself. But if I make a good pitch, I mean, tip my cat, you know? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Say that. All right, Ronnie. All right. Andrew in the, ch in the Sony San Diego chat says Blake Snell is – or Aaron Judge is only one for 14 off Blake Snell. I'm going to check to confirm. Yeah, but I walked them 732 times. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. Pulling it up here. Uh, you guys keep playing. Aaron Judge. Oh, yeah. Playing. Aaron Judge is one for 14. And you're right, Blake. Nah, you you walked in you. six times. Ref, ref, come talk to me. No. Oh. Willie makes perfect, those, baby. Perfect. Hey, I hey, I'm, I'm telling you, Willie makes those. Willie's nice. Perfect, perfect. Oh, Give me Marcel, weird. This guy bangs in this game, though. This guy bangs right here. Yeah, this, on, this is a very good card here. Oh, yikes. Yeah, uh, card in the middle. Here's another true story, and you guys will probably post about it, and I'm going to not like it, but uh, I hung a change up to Ozuna in 16, and you can't see it. Like, on this screen, you can't see it. Oh, there you see the flags in the top left? Yeah. yeah. American flag <laughs> in the 2011 wild card flag? Yeah, he hit that flag. Oh, I, my I, God. I, I, he I hit that flag on me. I've seen oh. that video. Chat, you guys yeah, should open up another tab and search on YouTube for just Google Marcelo Zuna, Blake Snell. It's impressive. Oh, Good okay. I guess play. that's working today. The play. Well, we got uh, – Luke, how is Mike Soroka pitches. so good and be so young? Jeez, Louise. Uh, he's – He's an old soul, man. That guy, you talk to him, you think he's 45. <laughs> That's not a good Sean pitch. Blake Snell's record is 3-0 and o thus far. Or 2-0. and o. One of the two. Do you pitch with meter or analog? I do uh, the meter, and I can't. I, I'm not. Good like, squared up. It, it goes like it launches it. What part of. Uh, I just don't get what part of good squared up that was. If I'm on time for that, bro, I'm pulling it. I'm good. not going the right way. Guy's glove. Real good. No, I'm saying, like, how is he not pulling that ball? <laughs> Dude, That's yeah, what, I can't. I'm not. <laughs> so a twin killing for Luke Jackson. What do you pitch, analog or meter? You use meter, meter. right? Yeah, I seen you play. Yeah. Yeah, Tatis... He uses directional, and I think that's unfair. Terrible, <laughs> yeah. You can't, yeah. No, yeah. I, bro. I'm Even though I tried using against... it, I still can't hit. That's base nine. Okay, great, great shift. Love it. Hot. <laughs> I don't. Oh man, let's not even get into the shift. How how tick do you get sometimes with that, Blake? Uh, I be getting upset sometimes. Uh, more so if I don't know that we're doing it. Look oh, at that pitch. Okay. What a pitch, baby. What a pitch. Another great pitch. Hey, Chirinos, keep it up, my dog. How tall is Dansby Johnson? Bro, what is up with the Chirinos? Put Tommy Canely and Jesus Lazardo are tied at two in the bottom of the first. Amir Garrett, okay. seven to nothing good in the second eye. on David Ball. Come on, Nicky Six. First and, 
the tender Yanni oh, Torinos no. is uh, getting no. tired. I wouldn't say tired. I would say he's just, uh, you know, he's just had a long day. Okay. Ty, uh, eight hundred eight in the Sony what San you Diego got on my dog? chat. What's up? Travis Darno. Homer. I, I got to give him a pitch eight. right there. That's my dog. You like uh, you, you like oh, Travis Darno no. behind the pole? D, run, hustle Ooh, Do I hustle like him? Out. I absolutely love him. Oh, yeah? How come? He can tell you, man. Darn knows the GOAT. Yeah, he's a good dude, man. I've only known him for about he's a month and a half now. And he's a gem. He's a gem. Yeah, when he when he left us to go to the Braves, I was furious. What's really the most important us, quality? You what? What's the most important thing you need from a catcher? Love. <laughs> you need a guy that's like on... Seriously, though, you need love. You need a guy that, like, respects you, tells you what you need to hear. Like, you need love. a guy that loves you. I like that. I like that. <laughs> that hurt. Dash Four. Bro, I'm swinging today. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm swinging. You're in swing mode right now, Blake. I know. Just a piece of hitting by B-Wow. Just a great piece of hitting by Jeez. b <laughs> I don't even know what I'm swinging at. <laughs> Here's Mike Zanino. All right, I'm going to lock it in. Ta, ta. 2019, Luke Jackson, 9-2, and two, 18 saves, ERA of 3.84. Oops. Come on, dude. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. oh. oh Miss step out and left. I need you to move it. <sighs> Runner around yeah. third, and he's in safely. Appreciate it, B-Low. RBI double for Mike Zanino. That ain't good. That ain't good, pitch. That ain't it. Sun Devils 1989, I think Blake Snell just answered it. The one player he hates to pitch against sounds like is Aaron Judge. That ain't good. And, and Mookie Betts. I don't like both of them. Okay. Does not like facing Mookie Why Betts. Are you, you getting tired, big dog? That's not, that should be a strike. That ain't good. Ooh, that ball's Homer. well That's struck. Homer. Going back. Going way back. It's out of here. Uh... Should have just put and him on. A home put him run on. for Kevin Kiermeyer. I can't give you a shout out with that with that kind of uh, Twitch handle. Mm -mm. Can't. Nope. No. No. Keep it no clean, Rob. Keep it clean. <laughs> no oh, way. Oh. Oh. Go how back. You doing? Back, Yandy. He got how biceps. You, I got, he see. got big Did biceps. Did you swear that up? Yeah, I did. I don't know if we can look, but it. yeah. I got it. I got to make an adjustment. <laughs> Luke, so yeah, I got big I can't. Joey, Joey, this guy owns me right here in real life. Hey, Joey Wendell's filthy. <laughs> yeah, that guy, bro, I cannot get him out. Yeah, he's scrappy. No batting yeah. gloves. Just... No BGs. You know they mean business. You come up, no BGs, you mean business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at yeah. Joey Wendell doing Shit. Joey Wendell. There we go. That's what he does. Hey, 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 hey. Uncle. Dancing Panda 14, what's up? Luke, you're looking a, a lot casual tonight compared to the last time we. Yeah, started. a lot more casual yeah. tonight. It, it didn't. I was sweating the other night wearing that robe. That robe didn't look like it breathed a lot. It, I mean, I, I went no shirt underneath was the only possible way. <laughs> yeah, that was four feet above the zone. That was perfect. What? Perfect too. That was perfect. Perfect too. <laughs> This guy's cheating over here. You and Joey Gallo on something. No, Gallo is on something. Gallo beat me 713 to 2. 
<laughs> like we have someone in the chat lying. that says uh we have someone in the chat that says they played for your dad at shoreline that's a strike Damn. what's up yeah so like community college what in the hell was that <laughs> mc hugh 33 what's up thanks for watching Ooh. Austin Meadows, this card rakes. Stop, the only good pitch I throw, and it was ball. How'd that happen? So here's Hunter Renfro. We just can't give up a granny. We got to get double play. Yeah, she's. she's Hunter Renfro is. Oh, do one strike. With a couple of walks lifetime against Luke Jackson. I know this is Will Smith pitching here. But. Meter's moving about 300 miles an hour right now. She, dude, Ooh. I'm putting it right down the middle, and I'm like just a little late, and it's launching it into the ground. All right. Trouble here, G-Man Choi. Well, that's a good pitch right there. That ain't good. That that one ain't good. One out. Jesus. Oh, got him. Perfect. Jeez. Perfect. 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 Kurt I, you, time. I'm getting stream sniped over here. I'm getting stream sniped. <laughs> I'm watching this my streams. Stream, I this promise. Guy, this guy's stream sniping right now, though. Yeah. The classically famous chat is going crazy right now. Slugger season says Sportaholic 50, 55, 55. And it's now a 9 nothing lead for Tampa Bay. Oh, make it 10. We got to make a play. Oh, I thought, I thought, I thought that stayed in the yard. Yeah, this game got out of hand quickly. Yeah, it, it, it started out real solid in the first <laughs> inning. Okay. Yeah. Maybe oh he can God. get it out. Let's go. If not, last resort, we got to go to myself. Hey, I would love to see that. Ooh. Is Cutter the best pitch? I, I feel like it's the only thing that people swing at. Um, uh, yeah, I think, think the slider, the, I think the slider is a good pitch. If you know, I like if you have it. Sinkers are the – I think the sinkers are the toughest pitch for me to hit in this game. Sinkers? Especially – yeah. Especially if that sinker comes in high. Up and in sinker? No. Mm -mm. Oh, God. Ooh. Nice play. That was smoke. Come on, KK. Yep. Joe Pro. One, two, three, high sinker, best pitch. I agree with you, man. That's the high one that gives sinker. me the trouble. Well, that's Ooh, way too face. high. Yeah. God, boys, this isn't good. Boy, he did a front flip. Well, <laughs> Mark Cake is not giving you, not doing you any favors five. there. Don't do that. I will say that one pitch that has gotten for that I've gotten punished with this season like never before is the changeup. If you are not precise with the changeup, I'm talking like perfect. Oh yeah. It, it, it's going to get punished. It's going to get hit hard. Can we do it? Can we get 3 outs? Wow. And that awesome. will end the inning. She's 10 spot. That boost, um, boost will the numbers in the here. inning. God, that's a tough game saving those pitches. I should have just left. I did, I, I did pick up a win with Charlie Culberson earlier this week. Did you now? <laughs> His pitching card that ain't that wild. solid, but we picked up a dub. How many how – many, uh... Outs did you have to get? The whole I got inning? three. I got three outs. He was throwing 84, oh. which the guy throws 75. <laughs> so I don't know how his numbers are. He had like four innings last year. 
Yeah, that's crazy. Look, isn't it uncanny how how similar Charlie and Dansby how how much they favor each other? They really did. Like it's not it, it's, as much in the face, but the hair is perfect. And if you're always in a baseball yeah. hat, you know it's it's almost spot on. Yeah. Oops. Oliver Jake don't throw ninety five. This game rigged. <laughs> Ooh, that's gone. Ooh, that ball's well struck. Over the head of the left fielder, Renfro. God, I got to get that to second. I bet be cheap flow. Now, enemy within, I did not know that Culberson and Swanson, did they really grow up 30 miles from one another? Are you Is kidding me? That, huh. What? Oh, no. Uh, Double play. Make this one quick. Wow. Jeez. All right, so final out for Luke Jackson. Come on. Hey, easy. Ooh, hey. Mad. Bro, I'm literally. Splats Gaming, appreciate that. Thanks for watching. And enemy within, Culberson in Rome, Georgia, Dansby in Marietta. No, don't swing at that. Oh. That base knock. There you go, Freddie Free. Leg it out. Hashtag we're not hustle. done. What? Oh. Off the oh. That's impressive. Okay. All right. Oh, how do you miss that, Luke? Yikes. Marcelo Zuna. Trying to get Luke Jackson on the board. Tommy Canely beats Jesus Lazardo That's... five to four. So a tough GG. loss for Lazardo. GG. Yep. GG, man. And GG's all around. Oh. GG's all around. Mm. Have you played anyone yet? Yeah, I played everyone at the top except for McNeil. He's good. So, oh, you haven't, you haven't played McNeil yet, huh, no. Blake? No, I play him at the end. Okay. But uh, yeah, nah, I've played everyone. Hey, you know, uh, one question that keeps getting asked in the chat is, uh, and I don't know if it's from the same person or multiple people, uh, what's it like to face Mike Trout? Luke, how, what kind of – I know He's different leagues. Do you have – Really? Yeah, That's... he was my <laughs> debut. Go I'm... get him. <laughs> yeah, I didn't throw a pitch in the vicinity of the zone. I think Don't I threw four you. pitches like other batter's bikes are over the catcher's head and walked him out four straight. And that's uh, that uh, a couple respect. times. Okay, yeah. all right. Respect. Uh, Blake, you know, you probably have, you definitely have a lot more experience facing him. What's it like? Yeah, he's yeah, he's special. He's just he's a lot different than everybody else, man. That he's special. That's the best way to put it. Do I play Hater now or do I play uh We're we're gonna try to get Nico back and then we'll play Hater after that. So okay, we're so just Nico, uh, we're okay. kind of trying to get things aligned. Like I said, we got a couple things spinning out of control tonight, so we're trying to get back on, on online. Yeah, Blake, you're one uh, one for five, or Trout is one for five against you with a double. Dang, that's pretty good. Yeah, you've that's... walked him three times. You've struck out. You struck him out twice. Um, I'm just looking at the one I remember is a cutter or a slider inside he took for strike three. That's I'll never forget that. The other one, I got no clue. <laughs> Shohei Otani is two has two hits against you and three at bats. Yeah, Blake. cause he's nasty. That's the only lefty I don't you... get. He go like he hit a double in the gap so hard. I said, bro, why are you pitching? Like, stop. <laughs> like, his presence, his whole little stance, he's like, he's, what, six foot 18, too? So he a big dude. And he just, yeah, right in the gap. I remember that, too, because that ball was scorched. I was like, how the, did he hit that? Now, uh, Luke, 18, you, played, you played soccer, football growing up. You didn't really play baseball 
uh, wow. until the ninth grade, right? I mean, I, can you imagine how difficult it is for, you know, a guy like Otani to do what he does, uh, you know, be a yeah. elite hitter and pitcher at the same time? Yeah, I mean, I mean, don't don't, don't the race have uh race have somebody McKay? McKay yeah, does it McKay? Uh, yeah, he, he kind of bangs yeah. a little bit, but I mean, yeah, to be to be someone, uh, the guy throws a hundred too, like it's nothing. So, I mean, if you could sustain something like that, it's gonna be. I mean, he's gonna be talked about for a long, 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 long time. The yeah. hardest part is going to be, like, how do you get work ABs in plus pitching plus it's going to be interesting. Yeah, because, it, I, I mean, one is – it seems like it's exceedingly difficult. I, I can't imagine trying to do – refine two skills like that and be – I mean, he's elite at both. Blake, what kind of, what kind of hitter are you? Uh, yeah, good. I'm like my vision's through the roof. My contact and power is probably like 30s. No, I'll say fifties. They give me fifties in the game, so it's fifties. Right. Yeah, but I'm a well, I'm a I, slap hitter. At you bat. got any knocks? No, I got three no. walks though. So on base percentage, three thirty three. Yeah, I got a walk bad. too. I got a walk and a bunt. I got a, I got four sack. I got hit by a pitch. Can you believe that? <laughs> hit by a pitch. I looked at Stephen Matz like, bro, That's I'm in the respect. AL. I ain't That's looked respect. at a bat. Yeah, hit me in the finger. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so so Luke, uh, uh, Blake and I played played against each other uh, in MLB The Show, and yeah, are you, who won that game? He did by one in extra innings. After get this, his Tell about it, his pitcher, his, his, him, virtual Blake Snell went deep off Corey Kluber on a three-one changeup. Two-run bomb, kidding? baby. Dead center too. And, you know what? I got BP pop. I know I had game pop. Dang. I hit I hit a bomb in uh, BR today with my guy, the eighty two snow. That was pretty cool. When you play, um, when you play uh, online, like those ranked kids, who's the best? Like, is there a certain guy that's way better than everyone else, or is it all card based? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about like the the who's like the best card player in the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I like Mantle because he's switch hitter. Uh, the Trout 95 is actually really good. Um, but I'm, like, big on all my hitters being switch. I want all switch hitters. Oh, that's it annoying. It does affect his Ozzy. If I'm, facing, if I'm facing a lefty with Ozzy Albies, it's a, it's, it's a guaranteed hit, no matter what. Yeah. Hey, bro, your whole lineup is nasty. Hey, hater, how about the ending of that game? Hey, so what happened was one of my guys clipped it. It bounced off his glove. He turned around and then ended up catching it again. I've never <laughs> seen anything like it. But the crazy part yeah. was when he, when he first hit that ball, he took three steps forward and then turned around and then did that. I'm like, what in the world? Yeah, and the best part, the commentator said, that's a double of the gap. And then next thing you know, <laughs> the guy was getting rolling from the ground through the second base. <laughs> yeah, that was insane. I think there's something, there's something up with this uh, fielding. <laughs> did did uh, right. yeah so hater Luke uh, Josh Luke came in right before his game against Blake and said that he lost on on a, tri <laughs> on a triple play I mean <laughs> no it's a double play it's a double play uh, double, double, double play, play. Double okay play. I thought you said triple was, play. listen I was losing three zero he definitely had he was probably gonna win but that was a very interesting it just looked weird like it looked like it hit him in the head. And it looked like it dropped, so my guys were all running because they said it was – so it didn't even, like, tell me to tag. They just kept running, and then it, it said he caught it. It was very strange. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Uh, Josh, who did you just end up finish uh, – who did you just end up finishing up with? Good drum. How did that go? Good. Uh, it was a – what was it, eight to one game? Eight to one, okay. Yep. Uh, meantime, Nico Goodrum is up one nothing in the second on Bo Bichette. So uh, what? That could Bo's be a little bit. Today. Yeah, that I don't, could be a I don't little get how Giolito has all those wins. Uh, Luke Lucas Giolito has figured some things out. I'll about to say has, I beat him first week, and I didn't know what I was. I didn't know how to like run the bases. Yeah, he he <laughs> has figured some Lux. things out offensively. I beat Gavin Lux. I don't even know what I'm still doing. 
<laughs> oh goodness, uh, Colin. Uh, yes, sir. We're gonna go to we... Josh and Blake, and then try okay. to get back with uh, Nico. Okay. So, guys, Luke uh, Jackson, get hang tight, thing, man. Appreciate it. it. We'll catch Luke, up with you. Thank you so much. GGS. GGS, Luke yep, Jackson. Hey, right, so who who am right. I playing? Am I waiting play on Josh? You oh, are man. playing Josh, and you are. I'm the uh, road team. But we lost Josh for a second here, but he'll come back. Nah, he's he's good uh, about that. Okay, yeah, you're go you're gonna be the road team. Perfect. I'll be back in one second. Okay. Robert, we're gonna go to you. Back what? On you. What, what, what? Back on you. Is it Blake's gonna? He's he's got to go feed the dog or something. He's yeah, he's exactly. All right, thanks for joining us. A uh, couple more games here with uh, Blake Snell, who, of course, is our featured streamer, getting set to take on Josh Hader. We want to remind you about MLB Network's coverage of the MLB The Show 20 Players League. That's going to be starting Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern, and then we're going to bring you to a doubleheader uh, matchup at 8 o'clock Eastern. Now, this is not our Twitch page. No, this is wherever you watch MLB Network, whether it's device, TV, it's Big Boy MLB Network, and they'll have uh, coverage of MLB The Show 20 Players League. Remember, our regular season will wrap up uh, on Monday, and then the playoffs begin. Quarter and semifinal action will be a best-of-three series, and then our championship series will be a best-of-five. Uh, Bo Bichette has rallied to take a 2-1 to lead on Nico Goodrum. That game is now in the third. Duplantier and David Dahl are still knotted, are still scoreless in the third. Uh, we can also tell you that MLB The Show 20 Players League action continues this coming Wednesday, April 29th, with a doubleheader starting at 10 o'clock Eastern. Now that's going to be on ESPN2, and then followed by quarterfinal doubleheader action on Friday, May 1st, 10 p.m. Eastern on FS1. So MLB Network, ESPN2. FS1, as well as the uh, variety of other platforms that you've been enjoying league play. Uh, so we got Blake back. Blake Snell is Blakey back with back. us. What's up? You ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. We're, uh, so we're going to play Hater. We're going to play Josh, uh, but Josh is uh, – oh, he's back. Hold on. Let's. There he is right there. Hold on. Let's bring Josh on. There's Jax Josh. Tan 0813 asking, can I play you, Roflo? Uh, Jax, I do play people every now and then. Uh, you can go to my Facebook page, facebook.com slash realrowflow. Uh, you'll check out my streams there, my videos. And occasionally, I will play people in the chat. And you ask how good I am. Sometimes I'm below average. Sometimes I'm average. Sometimes I'm slightly above average. And sometimes it's a little bit of both or a little bit of all three in each game. So here we go. Willie Adamas, Brandon Woodruff, Rays, Brewers. And that ball is high, coming in at 97 miles per hour. All right. Sean asking about the updated standings. We showed you that earlier, Sean, but I can tell you that Dwight Smith Jr., as Willie Adamas goes perfect, perfect at 2-0. and uh, Dwight Smith Jr. had a one-game lead. He was hanging on to that, final play, that uh, eighth and final playoff spot coming into tonight. One game ahead of Tommy Canely, Amir Garrett, and Jesus Lazardo. Uh, Amir Garrett won his, has won his last two games tonight after dropping his first against Jesus Lazardo. Speaking of Jesus Lazardo, he's down one nothing to Ryan Stanek in the top of the third. Oh. Blake, you are you are locked in with Austin Meadows yeah, right now, Blake's man. Yeah, Blake's locked, man. He's he's all he's Meadows the truth. Like, how, bro? How are you spitting on these? That's, mm. a real pitch. That's a real nice pitch. Oh come on! Remember, you can find uh, Josh's individual stream at. Uh, let me make sure I'm giving you the right one. Twitch.tv slash J Haterade. Let's go, G. G man, Troy. Oh my gosh, this guy's the man. 
This is a, this is this card is definitely budget beast material. No, no, no. Thank Fuck, you. I don't want that. Control room, Colin. I think this card is a bronze. Is it not? I think so. Chat will chat will be able. I gotta. I can't. Yeah. Talk. Hey, chat. Back, back me up on this. Pinky man is a bronze. All right, so early trouble here. One out. Runners at the corners. It's now 2-0. and oh. Ooh, good pitch at 2-0. Oh. Yep. Five gifted. G-Man Choi confirming. Oh, it is a bronze, and that is well struck. Oh, Going back is Yelich. Goodbye. It's now no, four nothing. Like that, man. Swab, man. Bro, I've been I've been struggling honestly the first couple games. We'll no, he it. hasn't. Josh, he has not been struggling. Time out, Rofo. The only game I scored runs was the last game. <laughs> yeah. No, remember you, scored, you all those runs against Jesus. Those are three in the fourth inning, <laughs> or is that the third? I don't even know. <laughs> Golly. Oh, my goodness. This is just home run. Oh, my down. goodness. Mm. It's veteran hitting. We should not be playing it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's like every pitch in the zone is a homer. All right. It's now 5 nothing. Brandon Woodruff has thrown 22 pitches, now 24 pitches. Turn off my email. Here's Kevin Kiermeyer. And Bo Bichette comes back to beat Nico Goodrum two to one. Oh, this oh, is good tough, Lord. Brandon is Woodruff tough. is gonna get killed out there. We're gonna we're gonna have the mound visit this. <laughs> We're going to have to figure it out. Bo uh, Bichette came back to win, you said? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. All right, so a pitching change for Josh Hader. Oof. Yelich is there for out number two. See, my, my mindset was to let you go through the lineup so maybe you get Morton out of there early. <laughs> no. Oh, Charlie Morton. Oh, I thought I, I thought Mort Chuck was going deep. Yeah, yeah. Bro, oh, that was a power swing, and it was in the circle, like the middle of that circle. <laughs> On a good okay. All right, we got to figure something oh. out. Let's hit Here's Lorenzo Kane. Josh Hader be began tonight at 10 and 9. Keston Hira now. Oh, easy. Oof. Ooh, how was that a ball? Big early lead for Blake Snell. Keston Hera. Oh, no, man. This, this is oh, 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 oh. What? what? I threw that the first. Oh, we got, got no break. first baseman. And NG wouldn't run That's the first. Brutal. He was locked there. That's brutal. 
Oh my god. Hey Blake, with yourself and I clicked it one. Charlie Morton, Tyler Glass now. That's oh, that ball is going to be a base hit. Where do you feel like uh, you guys rank as far as a trio of starters? Oh, we up there. Mentio. <sighs> yeah, no, we're up there. I'd say definitely in the top three. I mean, we're nasty. Mm, tough break. Yeah, that was Jeez. Tough. That ball was destroyed. Mentio, terrific job, my friend. Terrific job, my friend. Yeah. Hey, obviously, Garcia, probably one of my favorite people. How come? He's just the nicest human being in the world. He's like a big teddy bear. <laughs> oh, I missed that. And Low go. He's so good. Here's Austin Meadows. Good pitch. Oof. That was a nice pitch. Bro, I got it. Josh, has, has Lorenzo Kane saved you uh, a couple times, giving up homers? Has he taken some back on your behalf? Is that a serious question? <laughs> no, I mean, like, <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, how many, like, two or – uh, I think so many that I lost count. Oh, really? That many? Okay. <laughs> nah, he's nasty though. He, I mean, there's, I mean, even opening day 2019 was uh, last year when he robbed. Oh my gosh, how, bro? Oh wow, that's perfect, perfect. That high fastball. That's well, off the batter's good. eye. Yeah, that good was good. Lord. But yeah, anytime, anytime it's something close to the wall, I mean, I definitely, I'm just like, he's so good at it that you almost expect him to rob it. Yeah. No, he's an elite defender out there, man. All right, we got to run back on a seven beat right here. Oh my gosh, something. Here's Justin Smoke. Ah. Brewers 89 and 73 last season. Losing in the wild card game, of course, to the eventual World Series champs. Little There's shit. a base hit for Justin I don't know how he has zero speed. That's what <laughs> Pitcher's got more <laughs> speed than him. How does Smoke have only zero speed? Ryan Stanek beat Jesus Lazardo. Lazardo goes, uh, well, Stanek went one and two tonight. Oh, that hurts. Ooh. Josh, what teammates have you been hearing from uh, throughout the throughout the league? Which ones are kind of monitoring your progress? I know Kesson's been Kesson's been keeping up with how good he's been doing. <laughs> you do rake with that card, man. Yeah, Kesson and Omar have been the uh, the cards that, and Yelly obviously, but. Does yeah. he get it? Does he get Ooh, it? Deep in the hole. Oh, my and God. What a wow. play. Willie got a hose bro. in this game. Willie got a hose, though. And he got one. Like, in this game, they gave him a good-ass arm. I mean, that's insane. He just – And Arcia has more thought, speed than that. I for sure thought he was able to get there. All good. Ooh, good pitch. Ooh. Pitch came in hot. Okay, play. Yeah. Here's a good question for both of you guys. It's from Jack. How do you keep your mechanics on point 
when you're late I'm, in an outing. How do you keep your mechanics what? How do you keep your mechanics on point when you're late in an outing, obviously for a start or, you know, for you, Josh, when you're 28, 29 pitches in? For me, it's, Josh, uh, that. I mean, that's something that we do every day. You know, one of the things that we, uh, I mean, most of us big leaguers, um, you know, our throne program is more than just a yeah. throne program. That's a time where you're able to work on your mechanics, work on um, how your body's feeling. So if uh, you don't take that serious, then that's where you're really losing a lot of reps of your mechanics. Yeah. And just through that and then doing flat, uh, doing work off the mound and stuff like that. I know starters, they have their bullpen days, but you know that's one of the things is getting off the mound and being able just to feel your body off of it. Yeah. Oh boy. Another base hit for Snell. What about you, Blake? You're a big you dude. A question you, got a lot of, you got some moving parts in your delivery, huh? No way. Oh, a perfect, perfect up there? I'm yeah. telling you, that high fastball, man, that's deadly. Mm. I need to stop tossing what was the question, there. though? Just about your mechanics. What's kind of the, the things that you think about to make sure that your mechanics are on point and doing what they're supposed to be doing? Um, yeah, just consistency in your catch play, uh, making sure you just feel strong. Um, I think that's really all it's going to take. You just got to be comfortable with your body and you should be good. So for me, it's all just if I feel strong, then I feel like I'll be fine. Even if I lose it, I still trust it. There's a high fastball for a strike. Ooh. Charlie can put swings on the ball, bro. <laughs> oh, look at that. And, Blake, you said something the other day that I, I never thought I'd hear, that Charlie Morton is one of the funniest people on your team. Oh, by far, yeah. His <laughs> sense of humor is hilarious. Jeez. I mean, whether it's in the zone, whether it's out of the zone, Blake is getting to it. He's hot. He knows what he's doing. You got a game after this? Yeah, I got one more against uh, Nico. One more. Yeah, Blake yeah. trying to go 5-0. Yeah. and oh. There's a little dribbler. Remember, MLB Network's coverage of MLB The Show 20 Players League will be on Sunday, 7 o'clock Eastern. We'll have a recap show. And then at 8 o'clock Eastern, we'll bring you doubleheader action. So as we wind down the regular season before the playoffs begin, final day of the regular season will be on Monday. And then it's the playoffs. Quarters and semifinals will be a best of three. And our championship series will be a best of five. That's a foul. Okay. Oh, that's foul. Yeah. Uh, Josh, one question from the chat. They, they want to know what you think of Yelly's new mustache. I wasn't aware he had a new one, but have you seen it? Yeah, I, looked, I just saw it today on Instagram. It looks good. It's Your a, thoughts? It's not, a thick, it's not a thick stash, but it's a, <laughs> it's a quality stash. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's like that quarantine stash. <laughs> it's the quarantine stash, huh? What are you doing, bro? A little dribbler. Yandy Diaz. Got him. <sighs> Another chance for Keston Hira. Oof. AOE, yeah, the, these games in the Players League will be three inning games. Playoffs, as I said, quarters and semis will be a best of three game series. The championship series, a best of five, but all those games will be three inning games. And 
Was that Keston Hira again? It sure was. Yeah, Keston. Keston Hira. You need to find a way to get like six more Keston Hiras, Josh. Well, I think I got – hopefully I can take some pitches and figure this out. But, oh, my gosh. Jeez, that one's at 102. Oh, shift them. Very nice. Mm. GG's. There you go, Willie. Hey, right, GG, man. Yes, okay. sir. All right, GG. Eight to one is the final. Blake Snell rolling along on this Friday evening primetime stream. He's now 4-0, trying to make it a perfect 5-0. and uh, Josh, despite the loss, I, I really have been uh, impressed by I, – I think that you have really improved since – where the when the league started to where you're at now i think you're starting to figure some things out yeah starting to figure out this hitting thing a little bit i still need to be patient i mean i see that ball up there I, even though if i say i'm not going to swing i'm still hitting that yeah. X button so that's one of the things that i need to work on yeah and you know what you're 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 describing a problem that a lot of us have i mean there are a lot of good players average players that are watching this stream and they're, they're like, Josh, we've been there. You know, it, it, it's hard to stay patient when you see that, that ball just floating around in the zone there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and Josh, uh, Blake, uh, man, you, yeah, we got one more. you've won 16 of 17 games. This is, this is yeah, an epic crazy. run you're on right now. Yeah, we're on a hot streak. We got to keep it going. It's going to be <laughs> tough, though, I'm telling you. I don't like veteran hitting at all. It's scary. No, really. I, I, we really haven't heard you hear, uh, heard you just <laughs> voice that opinion. I haven't yet. said that enough. <laughs> no, uh, -uh uh, really. It's the first time I've heard that from you. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're gonna keep saying that. Hey, uh, Josh. Uh, what kind of things are you hearing from? Uh, you, you mentioned Keston Hira, and. Uh, uh, Abby Garcia have have reached out to you. What what kind of things are they are they telling you about your about your play here in the league? Just keep on hitting bombs with them, and that's <laughs> all I need from them. So if I can yeah. keep that going, we'll be in good good quarters. Yeah. Um, how, how do you feel about your your chances? You know, moving forward here, I'm looking at the standings. You were in the you're in the hunt. I think you were a couple of games back going into tonight. Um, you were two and a half back, and then what's your what's your record tonight? Uh, what do we got? I think we're like twelve and ten. So okay, so you're twelve we're, we're and ten. We're like we're close. But you're close you're we're we're you're back. in the mix. Yeah, you are in the mix. Top eight teams get in there. Uh, Tommy Canley, Amir Garrett, and Jesus Lazardo began the night a game back. Jesus Lazardo went one and two. And I think Amir Garrett went two and one. So still a few yeah, games left to play. Over. Hey, guys, yeah. Colin here. So we lost Nico for the night. So uh, we're going to have to do a makeup game for that one. But oh, yeah. Josh, uh, we yeah, appreciate you coming never on. never showed up either. Yeah. No, Nico was around. So we, well, we had some spinning plates and stuff tonight. So we got things. We didn't get the train back on schedule. And so we're ending a little early tonight. Uh, we do okay. have uh, – you guys want to check out Josh's, uh, or not Josh's, but uh, Christian's uh, mustache? Should we take a peek at it? Yeah, let's let's, let's take a look at Yelly's mustache here. Is that? Let's, I mean, let's. Wow, you guys score I, uh, out. Going strong. Um, I, I, I I've got to be honest with you. I was not expecting that. That's a. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on there, Josh. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a that's, I mean, that's quality it's solid. quarantine like mustache going on right there. Yeah. So. But you know what? He kind of looks like um you know like you know, you know like after a boy band has had their hits and then they break up and then they come back together for a reunion album or a reunion tour looking good, looking older. That's kind of what Yelly's look is uh, reminds me of. I I think it's a <laughs> I think it's a good look. So that's a good, that's a good note to end on. That's a good um, 
Josh, yeah. thanks hey. so much uh, for hanging out with us. Uh, Blake, uh, let's uh, finish up and chat with you for a second, and then Robert will uh, you. Thanks, y'all. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Josh. All right, Josh. Have a good okay. one, man. All right, remember, yeah, twitch.tv slash jhaterade is Josh's uh, Twitch channel. Blake, uh, you, you've got the, what is that, a little, little soul patch action, a little goatee? Is that kind I don't of know what, what it is. I'm lost. I might try to do a stash, too. Why not? That'd look terrible. So I think we might try that out. Um, you could just go yeah, I don't with know the, what I'm doing. You could do a goatee, just like do the top and then connect, and because you're almost oh, there. That was brutal. I I had the goatee for like a year, and I hated every day of it. But I faked it till I made it. Because oh. I'm not gonna lie, the goatee was dominant. Was so like, bro. Every time I pitched with the goatee, it was like, it was unreal. It was like six innings. 10 punchies like i had to keep it hey guys start and then when i we got nico in, yeah what you so got we got uh, nico you get how you gonna do me like that you're gonna be like yeah, no i sorry. can't make it no, i, mean, I turn it, it off it's, and it's, then you're like nico's I, back yeah, turn it on goes, we got nico Mitch. back nico thank you so oh, much for, uh, for coming back we appreciate it yeah no problem what up nico? all right all right, guys. Let's get into it. Uh, let's uh, let's close out the night on a positive note and uh, have some fun. <laughs> For sure. Uh, All right, here we go. Final game of the night. This is becoming. I'm on the road. This is a battle. Of, this really is a battle of wills at this point. Blake on his fifth game of the night. Uh, let yeah, me see. Let me uh, see what the schedule says. No, I'm battling on my field. This is. I've been battling. Yeah. What, what uh, what's your record tonight, Nico? I mean, we don't have a speak on that, but. but <laughs> cool. I need. I need all that. All right. So here we go. Blake Snell, four and zero. We could bring on someone uh, while we're playing here. We're just uh, connecting some pieces on our end here. Okay. What is that, AG? Oh, <laughs> am I good or am be. I good? <laughs> I you know, you know, AG isn't going to pass up a chance to be on camera. Oh, not at all. Uh, no. Uh, now, Nico, I read that um, that you have a pretty sweet setup at home, as far as a home gym, a little maybe a little batting cage thing going on, and that, and that's uh, you're finding it very handy uh, during this time, right? Oh yeah, I got a, I got a full gym here, uh, big old garage uh, down back. So uh, pretty much anything you can think of to uh, to work out with uh, turf, like it's you know I push a sled, whatever I need to do. I have a hill, I run, do my sprints. Um, so it's you know it wasn't meant for a time like this, but right, uh, it come sure. All right, so we're gonna be. At Comerica, he got th he got to throw himself. Yeah, yes, Blake dude. Blake stepped out for a second. I think I think Junior wanted a snack or something or a treat. <laughs> Nico, mm -hmm. uh, so how are you holding up with everything? I'm good. I'm uh, back. Stand stand indoors until I go work out, but I just been chilling really. Uh, work out eat you know call of duty like whatever you know i want to do like i just uh you know normal stuff let's like get that. on the duty hmm? i said let's get on the duty and that war's gonna be crazy i get at least one a day fun, bro. <laughs> I, don't, I don't go to sleep hey, if you I want, i'm ready for that all right, all right guys let's get into this game Ooh. Blake is seventeen and three right now, after don't, his. Uh, don't don't no, say my check idea. that. I, no, I won't. Eighteen and three. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blake Snell. Eighteen and three, trying to go nineteen and three, and if he did so, he would overtake uh, Joey Gallo for the best winning percentage in the uh, players' league. Yeah, I see an upset. It's possible. It's possible. So here we go. William yeah, Adams getting it started. The Matthew, right. the Matthew oh, Boyd card. 
Matthew Boyd card is kind of nice. No, it's sneaky. Sneaky good. Like, we're we're going to be joined by guests here for our final game of the oh, evening. Yeah, so, okay. Be prepared here. And there we go. Call it hey, man, there he is. Up? Count on AG50. Man, what's up? AG in the building. Man, let me tell you, it's been a grind for the kid. It's been a grind. <laughs> tell us about your night. What's your one? What's your record? But today I was three and one. It was a pretty easy day for me today. But uh, okay. who did I play first? I forgot who did I play first. Who did I? Oh, uh, who did I play first? You got I'll Jesus, you. Nico, uh, David, and Oh, Bob. yeah. Bruh. Jesus don't swing at nothing. Nothing. He's got a good – he's very patient at the plate. He, he uh, had a one nothing lead on Blake. Uh, I mean, but Blake, I mean, he ain't saying much against Blake. All you got to do Blake. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> I need it so bad. Hey, I need that. I, hey, Blake, I'm I need here. It, man, I need it. What's up, bro? Bro, for real. Uh, bro. Blake, man, Blake is on one right now. He's won 16 of 17 games. I know. I've been seeing. I've been peeping, man. I've been trying to scout, man. I don't know what's going on. Blake is just tearing up everybody. I, I, yeah, I, I don't know about all like, that. You know, Blake. Blake got worked to the champ twice, so I don't see Blake in that light, like oh. in, that, in that fashion. <laughs> well, it's like a button. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see it. But you know, he's doing his thing, man. Uh, when we get to the playoffs, we're gonna see. I mean, if I even get there, I didn't even realize like the runs allowed and the runs scored. Oh, mine is terrible. It's over. I ain't making it if we go by that because I don't score no runs. But, but Amir, you said you went three and one. Uh, yeah. Jesus, I believe, went one and two. Yeah. Um, I don't know what Tommy Canely did. I know he had a big win earlier. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I need, I need another win. Perfect. Perfect. Oh. You know he's good, though. Bo is, down good. Bo is really good. I was yeah. surprised by how he was. nice. He's nice. Hey, Nico, uh, have you hit against Blake and, and Amir in, in real life? I just – I just – oh, not me. Oh. You hit against – oh, in AAA, you hit against me on Nico. I hit um, against – I face, I face Nico. Like, I don't think I face him in a bit league. No, you, you – yeah, I face him. You're the twins? Yeah, I'm the twins. I face both of them in my league. Yeah. I'm looking it up right now. He probably he probably smack smack me no, when he was with them. See, I, I don't remember what I did. I ain't even gonna lie. I was gonna make something up. <laughs> yeah, I went deep four times. Man, I can't find it. I'm sure someone oh, in the chat will find it. Please, listen a little bit. Mm -mm. Okay, Tommy Canely won both of his games, so he's two and zero on the night. Yeah, Canely good. With the Yankees. Hey, bro, he better be good with that squad. Yeah, that's Say a good that. point. Could I mean, imagine, like, could you imagine playing with the Dodgers and in, in, in the Yankees bus over? That's a, Gavin you know, Lux has that luxury. Bit, yeah, if you know how to play just a little bit, it's over. It's over. Guaranteed it's over. Yeah. But hey, hey, real quick, Amir, are you going full you uniform or is it just the jersey? Yeah, it's Jackie Robinson day to day. I did this for Jackie today. I wore the white pants and everything. And then there you got go. The 42, got the got the got the hat going. Hold on, let me show you. Got the the forty two on. Oh, the that's hat. nice. Yeah. So we oh, that's, go, that's we a good, go that's a clean clean look. And I had some J's on today. I want to be like Mike too. You feel me? <laughs> hey, but Rolfo, after this, you got to tell him we got to start up another players league. And we gotta play on legend, and then we gonna let we gotta do a little shorter version. You gotta get in it too. Oh, so okay. Legend. Get in there. Oh, just foul. Well, Blake's no thoughts on the hitting difficulty are well documented, so I'm sure he would be up for that. Yeah, I've been going. I've been going hard. Crazy on yeah. This game is hard. It really is. Like I'm out here battling. 
Okay, so here we go to the. My next game. My next game. Oh! I'm downloading the NHL. Oh my god! Hey. I'm downloading the NHL. Uh. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> no! I mean, Yandy Diaz. That's his ninth double in Players League competition. Oh my oh, god! Sure. Oh, Kevin Kiermaier going oppo. Uh, that was right in that circle too on a good. Hmm. Nico, you said the oh. game is hard on when you play Hall of Fame. Like, what are you swinging at, bro? Set your butt in the trash. <laughs> hey, Blake, hold on, time out. The other day, you said you bunt, you won off a of bunt, right? Uh, yeah, that was in a rank game too. I said, everyone, okay, go get, right. go I get him here. Shout him out. Hey, I know, I know. You'll forever be known as a small ball player now. All it took was one time, Blake, one time. Oh, now. oh my God, Marinos. <laughs> I no, I'm not no small, but I didn't sleep that night. AG, I didn't sleep that night, so it doesn't count. <laughs> he said I didn't sleep that night. <laughs> Bro, oh I said I don't God. care. I'm doing it. You got to. And then I told everybody, I said, hit AG up. Let them know I bunted. You know what's crazy, though? Because if you, like, get a hit and run and you bunt, you can't defend that. Like, if there's a guy on first, at you all. can't defend it. It's so tough. Because the guy at second is breaking the second. Oh, and God. The guy at first it's coming in so it's like the pitchers in no man's land it's hard to defend it you can't yeah oh, oh good <laughs> Damn. that's paint i'll give you that what? nico I, nico i was asking blake about his major league debut what do you remember about yours um it was fast and, and everything was moving pretty cool. oh my god See nah, that's oh, short. Oh, oh, wow. oh, that's going way back. Oh, going back. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, oh, hey, nigga, throw the controller. Break it. Break the controller, bro. Hey, the TV. I paid too much for the TV, but I want to. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh. There's that's another gone. ball. Well struck. Nico, you that's are gone. serving up cookies right now, bro. I don't think he is, Amir. Uh, I'm telling you, Blake yeah, is going on tough. everything. Hey, it don't matter where I hit the That pitch is blowing away. I don't, I, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm attempting to do that. But I didn't get a little yeah, bit like I that. That, like, that curveball was not in the middle of the zone, and he just smashed it. And then right now, I don't even have a line on my thing anymore, but I, I don't have anybody want to so. Oh, that, that means you're right. confident. You have to wear it, boy. <laughs> you have to wear it. <laughs> you gotta wear it. Nico, a cold. Oh, my man. gosh. Oh! That's a play. We need, I need paint. Blake. Blake, just bunt, bro. Come on, man. No, no. No, no. no bro. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Oh, no. No. Oh, oh. kick. Kick. Oh, oh Lord! It's all you know. What? Oh. Just why? Come on, that's enough. Blake Snell, you hey, gotta I stop. I gotta go. What? That's enough. This is on veteran. That's not my fault. <laughs> my God. <laughs> okay. I like that Nico's just leaving in Matthew Boyd. Oh! Oh my! Hey, all right, y'all. I'm out, man. I gotta go eat dinner on this one. I'm out of here. Thanks, Amir, for showing up. Oh, oh, Amir, why you you can't leave? Bro, I got eat I dinner eat with dinner, us. Bro. I can't. I can't. Let I me can't watch you eat. eat All right, damn man, that's bad juju. Damn, <laughs> hey, do you come in here? You bring the vibe up to just leave? No, oh my home. god. These my homies. Right oh here. my you goodness. Know, I can give one person good luck, and then the other person, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm currently guessing where the line is right now. Hey, Nico. Oh, yeah. Never mind. You're not hitting. Damn. I don't know why he's there. Oh, get over there. Oh, the... my God. Oh. Oof. Oh. I'm out of here. Hey. Good luck. Thanks, Amir. <laughs> Thanks, Amir. Detroit. Hi, Amir. Bye, Amir. Go get some food. See you. All right, guys.
Later. Nico Goodrum is two for five lifetime against Blake with two strikeouts and one for one against Amir. Okay. Hmm. Shout out to me. <laughs> there you what? go. Oh, now see. <laughs> what? Hey, this is That's, now. Yeah. This, this is just what had said. happened was. Oh, my God. <laughs> Blake, the what? chat is going what? crazy that you said that you asked Amir, let me watch you eat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I want to see what he's eating. What's wrong with that? I'm hungry too. <laughs> I mean, that makes no sense. My goodness. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. Mm. <laughs> Someone said that should be your campaign slogan. Let me watch you eat. I'm Blake Snell, 2020. <laughs> I'm with it. Oh, no. Now, look, oh, man. I thought that was the hit. I thought that was <laughs> really. Mm. Made it to the second end. Hey, Nico, someone in the MLB Network chat says that in real life you're very underrated. So you got you oh, got some fans that. in here. Yeah, man. I appreciate that. Nico, how's a Tiger fan treating you with a? Ooh. With the league and stuff going on right now, Tiger fans. Um, I have some on on the Twitch, you know, but I don't really think they they've been showing no love lately. Especially that when uh, MJ uh, series came on, it was it was pretty dead. Oh, oh, dig, dig though. Oh, Ain't little no dribbler, way. tough play, tough play. <laughs> first they got it. We just. How's he going to throw it like that? Mm. Oh, gosh. Right in the shift. With just a chop. Hey, Nico, though, Nico right. what's, it, what's it like uh, playing the outfield there at uh, Comerica? That's a big, big ballpark, man. It's big. Like, it's a lot of room. You, gotta, you have to be able to run if you're going to play in Comerica because especially playing center field, uh, going to those gaps – I need that. Thank you. Uh, going to those gaps, so those gaps are deep. Uh, and then center field is 420. So I think we probably got the biggest, um, you know, in baseball. So it's – it's a uh, – hey, Blake. Hey, man. I don't, I don't do this pity now. Yeah. You better fix in some curves and some, some <laughs> stuff. That man's going to throw the ball out of the middle. He's he, – bring it. Bring it. Oh, that might fall. Although that's, unacceptable. that's, no, platinum. that's platinum in center. That is platinum. That man ain't missing nothing. Yeah, come here. KK come speed got to be higher. <clears throat> yeah, come here. Nico, who was your favorite player huge. growing up as a kid? Uh, Chipper Jones. Mm. Yeah. Um, see, well, that pitch was supposed to be outside corner. <laughs> it did not. However, it found his way over the middle of the plate. So, yeah, uh, Chipper Jones, though, I, I went to a lot of Braves games. Uh, being from Georgia. I feel like there's a generation of kids that wear or wore mock turtlenecks underneath their uniform because of Chipper Jones. Absolutely. For sure. One, uh, the toe tap. Everyone wanted to wear 10. Like, it was a similar thing uh, with any, you know, any superstar with, with Trevor Jones. I feel a lot of people looked up to him, you know, especially switching. Nico's Twitch page is twitch.tv slash NicoGoody28. Tried for the double play, but had to settle for one. Here's Mike Zanino. They forced me to go to first base, by the way. Oh, wow. good contact. Wow. This All right, so we're back. going to the hey, it's only 11, big right? comeback here. Yeah, it's only 11. The big fella. Nico, what's it like? Uh, what's 
What's it like playing for Ron Gardenhire? Oh, you can't swing at that. It's a, I mean, Gardy Gardy's amazing. Um, oh, you just splitting, and you throw a hundred. Um, he lets you play. You know, he lets you be an athlete. He lets you learn from your mistakes, uh, become your own player, which I think is important. But he also uh, teaches and shows you exactly what he wants you to do. Um, if you have any questions? Yeah. So it, you know, all around. Um, oh, check it. Okay, just all around. Oh, what? You can do that? <laughs> oh. What? You was locked in, bro, and he was red. God. And he throw a hundred too. Is Victor Reyes one out? Ray Ray, sit it in there, Ray. You too. That's Ray. Hey, believe it or not, that's one of the truest things I've seen on this game so far. Because Ray, oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. You're good. Go to second. I ain't touching it. What? <laughs> hey, Ray <laughs> does that all day. He'll play with What? Slap all the ball day. the other way? Oh, yes, is that going to sneak through? It will. I just need one right. Okay, KK ain't missing right like home, that. Not in time. Here comes the comeback. <laughs> if you take one of Blake's one off. Oh, nope. Check, check, check. That's an oblique there. Nico, what's Miggy like? Oh. But the thing about it, who gives someone a zero? <laughs> like, zero means out of emotion. <laughs> like he's just standing like, still. <laughs> like a zero speed. Don't try. Don't try him like that. Oh! Uh! I felt making John, noise. Go. Sinking liner. And he got it. Wow. Mm. I was. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just getting Blake ready for the playoffs, man. That's that's. I feel that's my role <laughs> right now. Getting ready. <laughs> For the playoffs, making sure he's moving the little cursor right. So, so I'm going to lately. Nico, I, I was asking you about uh, about Miggy uh, when when virtual Miggy Cabrera hit one off the pitcher. What's it like uh, having uh, Miguel Cabrera as a teammate? Oh, it, it's amazing. He's exactly what everyone thinks about him. Like all the the antics you see. Um, you know, messing with people, and uh, but he also is a leader. So it's one of those things where you look to him to um, – you almost don't want to disappoint is that, you know, you, you work your butt off and uh, go about your business and stay locked in, focus on what you need to do for that day um, so you can go out there and perform and, and the goal is to get a, you know, get a win. Um, yeah. And that's what he expects. You know, it's, it, he doesn't care if you're a rookie or if you've been here for 10 years. He, he expects um, that work ethic out of you. So, um, but he's he's fun though. I'm telling you, like whatever y'all <laughs> think, that's him. And when you watch him in the batting cage, are there or you know in batting practice before the game, are there ever times where you're like, man, I can't believe I'm watching Miguel Cabrera, future Hall of Famer, do his thing right now? The the first time I thought that was when I was with the Twins. I got called up and we're we, we went to Detroit. And I'm just I'm just looking at him like. Like that's Miggy, you know what I mean? And then you know now I'm his teammate. It, he he feels like you know a teammate. It's not that you know um, legend. Like you don't have feel. to put him on a pedestal no. or something. Yeah, but you, still, you still respect what he's done, and um, seeing him in the cage is unbelievable because you just look like how's he doing this? He's able to get his hands inside and just shoot the ball to the right side of the cage, and uh, so it, it, it's cool being his teammate. Yeah, Blake. Uh, what? What? Do you have any memories of facing uh, Miguel Cabrera? Yeah, he hit a grand slam off me. Uh, the last game I threw in Detroit, bro. I never been that mad my whole life. I remember I was gonna have this, this man signed a jersey for me that that day because it was the last day there. I um, mm -hmm. and it was hanging in my locker. I was in the sixth, and I threw like twenty <laughs> curveballs to this man. And then he, like, goes down, hits a grand slam. I get pulled out of the game. I'm 
hot. Like, so, like, I never been, to, I was pissed. Like, I was so mad. And then, and I always pitch like crap in Detroit. Always. I don't know what it is. It's something with the ball. I got an excuse. It's in there somewhere. Um, but, like, I can't pitch there. I don't know what it is. I was like, bro, I'm killing it. I'm about to, I was like six, and I think six innings, I think maybe one run or something. I was like, I'm about to have a good game. Miggy, bomb, go up to the locker room. His jersey's in my locker. And it's like hanging in the center of my locker. <laughs> it's not like it's tucked in there. It's like in the center, like it's his locker. Oh, that was, yeah, that was terrible. That's, that's one of the things where I'm, where I'm like, when you see him hit, you're like, how do you do it? Because I was on third, and I'm talking about, this is a low, this is a low spinner. Like, not a, a, yeah, ball. He goes down and just gets it and just scoops it. I'm just like, oh, my gosh. So those are one of the examples that play. Know, yeah. yeah, that's when you know you're a goat. You hit a grand slam, yeah, he did. and then the dude that you served up the grand slam your jersey's hanging in his locker. Yeah, he just got done signing it too. It's hanging in my it's in my hallway right now, hanging up. Yeah. I'll never forget it. Every sometimes I look at it, I'll be pissed off. I'm like, stop like it just gets brought up. I'm like, he really did that. I'm not mad oh, now, goodness. but then oh my god, I was hot. Yeah, that was not a good oh, like okay. two days. Uh, Nico, what has this experience like uh, been like for you playing in the uh, in the MLB The Show Twenty Players League? What's it been like for you? It, it's fun, you know. I talk trash, so like, even though they can't hear me, I'm still talking trash to them through the TV. <laughs> it hasn't lately, but the one runs I'm getting, I'm talking trash with it, you know. So uh, it, it's been it. cool. I'm, so you know, I I really hate losing. But it's it's yeah. all fun. It's giving it's giving the right. the fans to to you know to watch. Yeah, no, I I think you're I think you're right on, and I, I said it earlier. I think uh, people really enjoy uh, seeing different sides of of everyone's personalities. They love the the back and forth. They love the story that Blake just told about you know Miggy hitting a grand slam and then signing a jersey for. I mean, they fans just love that kind of stuff. So. Um, we appreciate you joining us. I'm glad we could catch up. Uh, you're, you're a fun listen, and uh, good luck the rest of the way. Cool. Appreciate it. All right. All right, Blake Snell, before we get out of here, 5-0, and oh, my mm -hmm. man. You're rolling. Yeah, man, I was, I was big. Uh, there was a couple games I knew in it that were going to be super tough, so I was, uh, I was happy. I was able to come away with the wins. I was able to lock it in today. I was a lot more focused, but I've been practicing on – veteran a lot more so don't swing at the bad stuff get in the zone power swing everything yeah. um yeah so i was doing that and uh yeah man i was able to score runs and i was really confident too in the pitching i think i gave up two runs in five games so super excited about that so so wait a minute are you so when you're playing, you're you're mashing square you're power swinging is that what you're yeah. telling me and on veteran yeah the whole time i square the entire time mm -hmm. it's square. Because I know I'm going to center that ball. So, like, I know it's going to be centered. I know I'm going to time it. So, I know square is yeah. going to work every time. Um, yeah, and then I just practice. I mean, I've been practicing uh, a lot on veterans. So, like, yesterday I was practicing. But I'm trying to make the push for World Series. So, like, it's tough to, like, I really want to make the push for World Series and play it every day and, like, actually do it. But I know I can't because it's going to mess with my hitting in this league. Yeah. So it's well, been like uh, I just wait. I'm waiting for it. Well, after your five and zero night tonight, you're now atop the players' league standings at nineteen and three yeah. percentage points ahead of Joey Gallo, who's nineteen and four. Hey, man, it's always great to have you on. Uh, we appreciate it, and I'm sure we'll be uh, checking with you uh, a little bit later. Uh, when are you streaming again? Uh, I'm gonna stream in an hour. Uh, I'm gonna go get some food, and then I'll be on in an hour. Yeah, we're doing a late night stream. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm with I the see how night. it is. Yeah, I got All nothing right. to do in the morning, so I might as well stay up late. Where can people find I you? I love it. Uh, they can find me at twitch.tv slash classically famous. And I'll be on in, a, in an hour from now. I'll be on at 1230. All right, go, sounds go good. We'll Baja look forward breeze. to it. I'm going to get that Baja Blast. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Blake. Hey, man, but, good stuff. Yeah, always. Appreciate y'all, man.
Yep, I'll see All you. All right, we'll check in with you. All right, so that's Blake Snell, a dominant, dominant performance for Blake Snell. Hey, we want to thank you for joining us wherever you were joining us on all, on all of our platforms and remind you that uh, MLB Network's coverage of MLB The Show 20 Players League will begin on Sunday at 7 o'clock Eastern on MLB Network. It'll be a wrap-up show of the previous week, what has gone on, and then at 8 o'clock a special double doubleheader as we get you set for the playoffs for control room colin for everyone behind the scenes that has made this event and this league so special and come off uh, largely without a hit sure there's been some technical difficulties but i mean consider what we're trying to do here people 30 players representing every major league club coming together major league baseball major league baseball players association sony interactive entertainment all coming together for the Players League, all benefiting Boys and Girls Club of America and Boys and Girls Club of Canada. We will see you on Monday to wrap up our regular season for my streams, for my videos, facebook.com slash realrowflow. I will see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. It's time to play ball. 30 of Major League Baseball's brightest stars are coming together to compete in the Players League. The drama is real. Oh, it's so wow. wow, what a play! Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern. Watch the players get their gaming on to find out once and for all who's best in the show.